Oh my. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <clears throat> forgive the tardiness. <laughs> I uh, got about three hours of sleep, not last night, but the night before. Uh, and basically went to bed last night, very tired, and forgot to set my alarm to do this wonderful 7 a.m. stream. So there I am laying in bed, snoozing away, girlfriend comes over. Touches my shoulder. Hey, babe, don't you have that uh, that stream today? Look at my watch. It's seven oh three. So we're off to a great start with the disaster stream. Um, so really sorry about all that. Um, but yeah, yeah. I I decided that uh, I was kind of tired of you know not seeing you guys or at, mm, at least talking about crap with you guys. Uh, so I did make a video yesterday that'll come out to non-members at ten o'clock today. And, uh, no joke, I will be actually at 10 o'clock today, uh, going to see my tax guy. And yes, I know I should be fired and see, I thought so too, Line, line caught. I thought that I should, I should, I should have a daily sca planning schedule like, like the guy as well, obviously. I mean, that just makes the most sense. Um, so there are a couple consequences to that. Uh, by the way, and uh, they are like DSP's consequences, which are, I uh, I have not tested anything uh, since the last time I've streamed, like um, whatever you want to call it, the, the notifications, and uh, well, for in this case, like the chat. Um, so I can see the chat on my side, and good morning, Sean Gonzalez, I can see, oh good, it has started to come in. Uh, so chat works, yay, it's not a complete disaster stream. Um, but now I've got to get, uh, caught up or I've got to get, uh, set up in terms of, um, watching, uh, good old Snort Hogan. So that'll take just a moment as I always watch whoever I'm watching, uh, under my actual main account because I have YouTube premium. So I have to sign in an, an incognito window cause I don't want to mess up the stream at all. So guys, I really appreciate you, uh, cutting me. Just the ever slightest modicum of slack. Um, because, good lord, I woke up in a panic and I felt terrible. Because I felt even worse when I saw there were eight people waiting. That's how how ter how uh, absolutely pathetic I can be sometimes, I swear. <laughs> now I've got to verify that, yep, it's me. Nope, not now. All right, so getting set up with the, well, while I'm doing this, is there like, I know the wig, I saw the wig, uh, I can't wait to touch on that, all, all I saw was that he was really pissy about that, um, I know there's some other stuff that he's been pissy about, but, um, <laughs> line cut says, see, what sets you apart from the guys that you feel bad when keeping people waiting rather than feeling bad about the tips you're missing out on. Well, I also feel bad about the tips I miss out on because I don't have tips. Um, so I feel bad, uh, but no, I don't, I actually don't, I don't feel bad about anything. Um, I feel blessed that you guys even think to, uh, uh be a member or to super chat. I, I, I appreciate all of you, but, um, yeah, if we're gonna, I know about the wig and, and good morning, Aiden. Um, and I'm not going to do anything like uh, the Review Tech USA stuff, but um, I've seen here, so once detractors being a cult, I did a video on that one. Um, how's Drip going? Not that one. Can't sh can't shorten the podcast. Crap on Seattle. I did that one. And there's the last two, or the last one I did. D upset, the DSP gets upset that he got called out for his terrible Elden Ring take. Um, not condemning EDP at first and then saying, no. No. I mean, that's like the, that's like the softball of softballs. Like, you know, the slowest pitch you could be given of, hey, this is definitely something that you, okay. Um, DSP on Review Tech USA's downfall wishes no ill will towards anyone. Hmm. DSP gets donated a wig by a viewer, trashes it, and then asks for $150 to wear it. Making Toriyama's... Uh, we're, t we're covering that. We're covering that because I saw that 
Uh, I saw that yes, uh, yesterday. Um, he managed to mess that one. Yeah, yeah. It 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 definitely seems that way. Um, you know, I think we'll start with the wig because I'm also seeing right after that, um, DSP says to stop sending spending money on microtransactions, and I'm not aware of that arc either. But basically, yeah, these are all four to like five minute clips. There's a couple ones in here that I see are twenty or so odd minutes. Um, we're gonna go through. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at these because uh, oh my god, I cannot believe this. Um, let me take a look here real quick, make sure this is going through with you guys, um, because that was not coming through my ears, so hold on. Disaster stream, ladies and gentlemen, disaster stream. Let's see if I can't get, uh, yes, it's going to be my headphones. There we go. Now, now, now my stuff is coming through my head, which is good. And last but not least, so let's turn on my border and... Live vid to review is on, but it needs to change. So let me change the properties of that. <clears throat> oh, live vid. Yeah, that one. That needs the property change. Okay. Uh, what is my split? Oh, oh, are you, uh, my, my workout split? Oof. Um,. Give me one second. DSP gets given to... Yep, that's it. That's the wig. And I just need to move it around real quick so I can, you know, make it look halfway decent. Or is it... Mm, see? Disaster stream, ladies. And apparently I, I decided to mute during all of that. So is I, I'm guessing that's what Tyler was saying. Um, anyway, five-day split again, because I realized that my sound was not jumping up and down, um, is I try to break it into arms, back, legs, shoulders, and sorry, chest, back, legs, arms, and shoulders in that order, Monday through Friday. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I can make someone laugh this morning. Um, Oh, what a day already. I'm still waking up. I haven't even had coffee. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's get started, though. Let's uh, let's listen to DSP get donated a wig. Um, I'm looking forward to this because this, this can't be as bad as I... Yeah, sure it can. It can definitely be that bad. But fuck it. Let's go. Well, let me tell you... I figured out my mute button. I got to remember what my goddamn unmute button is, and I can't remember, so I may have to manually unmute. But anyway... Um, is he still rocking Zelda jammies when he does the button ups? Is he? Because I remember, I remember seeing while I was on the road. At least I think I remember him seeing him looking at the camera, being like, "Wow, man, don't you wish you could have a job that lets you wear Zelda jammies?" And uh, I cringed. But then again, I could have been dreaming about that. So who the fuck knows? Pretty much the biggest release of the year so far, correct? I mean, I don't think there's been a single game that's come out in 2024 with as much hype behind it as Rebirth. Um, I got my border yeah, up um, yeah. for Final Fantasy. Uh. I got my Cloud Strife wig ready to... I honestly thought that was like powder at first, and then I when, I, when he turned it, I thought that was like a dead rat. Go. That's right. I'm not kidding you. And we got to bump Someone this dude up to a point twenty-five. Someone purchased me a supposed Cloud Strife cosplay wig for this event. This is how it came. This is actually it. What? Yeah. Okay. This. That's a Cloud Strife wig. It, it didn't come in any other box. It didn't come in another bag. It literally showed up on my doorstep just sitting there like this in this bag. 
Okay. Would you like to see it? No. I don't... Well, I mean, I get it, I guess. If I was a, if I was a streamer and one of my dents sent me a, you know, a thing. Wow, for, for it looks just event. like him. I mean, I don't think you could be any closer to the real Cloud Strife. <laughs> uh. Anyway, by the way, it came with what? this. I think this is a hairnet. I think if you have like messed up hair, like weird hair, you put on the hairnet. <laughs> Well, yeah. So it doesn't interfere so, with the wig or something like that? So, no, 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 it's not that. You just, the hairnet is not necessary if you have the most ultimately fucked up hairline, um, namely because um, your, your bald ass little spot, and I know you guys can't see my mouse, but that in that upper left corner there, that'll give you all the traction you need to wear that wig, so you don't need the hairnet DSP, you'll be fine, because, you know, your mom cut your hair for Anyway, moving on. So you might say, what? Yeah, a fan was like, oh, would you like, if I sent you a Cloud Strife wig to, to put on for, like, the premiere Final Fantasy VII, would you like that? And I said, I don't see why not. I've worn other wigs. It might be something funny, right? And... Well, listen to what he says. He mentions Amazon and how it doesn't look like pictures. So people think... He... Oh. Does he now? I guess that's true. It doesn't look like picture. Well, mm, I suppose he could have gotten it and then been like, "What the fuck is this?" and gone back and looked at it. But no, I get what you're saying. That that actually Basically, that tracks. This is what shows up. This thing. So if we do hit the hat goal today of tips, I'll put it on. Um, actually, I think what we should do, since this is so ridiculous, I think hmm. we should actually have this be the bigger the bigger goal today. Really? To do glasses, vest first. And then this is the highest level to your tip. Are you kidding me? He did. He So, he's had the hat goal be $100, which, oh my god, fucking $100 to put on a fucking hat. He's had that be $100 for I don't know how fucking long. And and now, because tips are so bad, they're just so terrible. Because tips are so bad, he, I, you know what, let's push that out. I don't, $100, $100 isn't good enough anymore. Let's do 150 what a piece of I think. shit. That's what I think, anyway. I mean, you guys can disagree, but... <laughs> He's trying to hack gold This looks so t-shirts. bad. I can't believe they actually made and sold this thing uh, as, like, a cosplayer's official wig. It looks terrible. Like, I mean, and I have a Ken Masters wig, you know, from my Ken outfit, and this just looks significantly worse in quality to me. <laughs> See, I'm going to disagree here. I actually think, um, yeah, it's a little fluffy as opposed to, um, I, I, was, I guess, gelled is what I would call uh, Cloud Strife's hair. You know, kind of very, looks like there's almost some um, um, uh, texture to it. And, and this this uh, wig looks a little bit more, more fluffy. But overall, I think I like this one more than the Kin Masters wig. Dude, this looks like yeah. like like half of uh like Rod Stewart's hair. Yeah, Aiden. Or like, it would probably um, be fine if he styled it. David Bowie in Labyrinth, right? That's what well, this yeah, reminds he's me. Just of. It looks nothing whatsoever <laughs> like Cloud Strike. You could tell that this is probably like twenty bucks, right? This is probably like a twenty dollar wig. And somebody sent it to you. Why are you not being grateful, you piece of shit? This isn't any high end cosplay wig or anything like that, right? Um. Anyway. Yeah. So, see, Sean. Yeah, yeah. You get it. That's gonna happen, I guess, if we do hit. A support level later today. His mom uh, would need to come. At first, I was kind of hyped for it until it actually showed up and I saw it. And I was like, it's nice of the wait, person. Wait, 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 wait. So, not only did somebody send it. So, this is going back to what um, what Sean was saying where he sent it to himself. The person would have had to have sent it to him and told him, hey, you should be expecting this. But, wait, doesn't he also... He also has a rule that if he gets a package from an unknown, he doesn't... Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't own it, open it, or or or, or um, accept it, doesn't he? So maybe maybe they would had to have told him in the in the past. Say, hey, I want to do something nice for your premiere stream. At the same time, I mean, sadly, this is just a pure example of the kind of crap that you will get off of Amazon. It's uh, it's hilarious because all the cosplay wigs on Amazon look amazing in the preview pictures. They look exactly like Cloud's hair, and that's what you get in the mail. It's like what the fuck. Anyway, so that's in in play today. Well, yeah, but dude, in in. You're advertising. I mean, you see a guy, you advertise yourself as a as a podcaster and like as a as a gaming streamer. And if you watch any other gaming streamer, oh my God, that's what Phil. Is. Phil is the Timu or Wish dot com version of a gaming streamer. You order your gaming streamer and then you get Phil. So 
So, um, let us talk about uh, today. Yes, I'm playing Final Fantasy VII yeah, who, all day Who would have thought? Who would have thought? All right. He got the drip, though. He got the drip, though. All right. So there's the first one. Let's find the next. Holy crap. Uh, what, uh, this one is the one I've been looking forward to stop, uh, since I started looking yesterday is to stop spending money on microtransactions. Well, let me tell you something, brother. I was going to say maybe that hair was actually ordered on Timu. I mean, at least the hairline, right? He went out to his mom went to wish before it existed and said, hey, look, can you just fuck my son's up, shit up just for life? And you might say, well, how do we fix this? <clears throat> With your wallets. Don't buy games from these companies who are doing this to their employees. Stop fucking buying EA microtransaction sports games. He's not serious. What? Okay, is there... I gotta, gotta take a look here and see if... It, nope, just... Clip from Raw Side Phil. Yep, Meerkat Mom Bill. Big ups. Microtransaction? Mom, Mom, can we have a streamer? We have a streamer at home. <laughs> Oh man, Ashley might have a good day at work. We have a stream remote that you were you get DSP. Yeah, microtransactions. What is he talking about? Like uh, Tekken or uh, Final Fantasy or? Let's, Just stop. Let's find don't out. buy Madden. Don't buy FIFA. Don't spend money on Ma fucking Ultimate Team. Madden. If you stop supporting the bad practices that allow them to act like this, they will stop the actions. But if you reward the bad actions, they will continue with them. Right. The are you serious? Like, the, the man is literally talking about his entire business model. Best way for Pokemon to improve is to stop buying every shitty Pokemon game on the Switch that runs like dirt. Just fucking stop buying them, right? Don't reward the bad behavior, and then they won't continue it. I feel like his dents ought to watch this before they, they keep giving him money. But our industry is so weird, we reward the bad behaviors. We buy the things that we say we don't want. We support the things that we say are harmful. The most profitable games ever are microtransaction laden games like GTA Online and Fortnite. That's Yet we say that's not the experiences we want. We want these epic games with big stories and a, tons of meaningful content, but then we buy, we spend all our money on the junk. And he bought Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Didn't, I was going to say, didn't he Didn't he buy Pokemon and, and doesn't he buy all these games? Um, 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 Tekken. Tekken and, and, and Street Fighter, didn't he buy the fucking microtransactions or the, um, the, 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 the costumes for like Chun-Li and um, I, I've never been a Tekken bro so I, I don't know the names of the Yoshimitsu I know that um, but didn't he didn't he buy fucking costumes spend money on microtransactions for that shit yeah he bought skin what is okay alright so I guess uh, rules for thee but not for me cool so what do you think they're going to keep making junk what do you think is going to happen they're going to dump more employees because they see them as disposable this is what will happen Right, and yet, so yeah. That's all I have to say. So not only did he buy, not only did he buy the costumes, but he bought Street Fighter twice. So that's just hey, is, that's uh, just amazing. It's it's a symptom of an industry where directly the consumers are financing the bad behaviors and allowing these companies, enabling them to do these awful things to their employees. We need to change that. We need to stop spending money on crap. I mean. Again, like, do, do you send this out to fucking One Minute Man? Do you send this out to fucking Jade and uh, what's the guy, like, Russo or Rosso or whatever his name is that fucking tips all the time? But Just stop entirely. No more excuses. Oh, but, I, but every time I boot up GTA Online, it's such an awesome social experience. Fucking turn the game off and go out with your friends and spend money at a real business. We're backing that up. I want to hear it again up gta online is such an awesome social experience fucking turn the game off and go out with your friends and spend money at a real business one All more right? time it's such an awesome social experience fucking turn the game off and go out with your friends and spend money at a real business i don't i don't think i can even i got nothing on this one man i've got literally nothing how how do you how how are you phil and you <laughs> okay all right? Go to the bar, go to the restaurant, go hang out, go play sports, go fucking whatever. Turn off the fucking microtransaction game where every moment you're paying them more money. Stop rewarding them for bad behavior. Okay, this is this is more evidence of this. I've, I've, I've said this now once, kind of as a joke. Then I said it once halfway believing it. Now my needle is starting to actually crest into the, the, uh, the indicator of, oh shit, this might be true. 
I think there's like at least a 1% chance that DSP might be trolling all of us. But all, like, he is deadpanning at a professional level that he's actually normal, right? And that he he does this, like, this is actually a character. When he went on side-scrollers, he was playing a character. And that he is trolling all of us. Because you can't, you can't be this unself-aware. Sean, the definition of a lol cow, Phil has no self-awareness. I believe Phil doesn't even know what he says when he goes on rants. Well, yeah, that's actually a fair assessment as well. Turn off the FIFA bullshit, the fucking Madden nonsense, and go support real people. Spend real life time with your friends. Stop fucking around online. Does he have friends? Like, at all, does he have friends? Because this is why this is happening to the industry. All right? Literally, the moment you spend money on junk, you're rewarding a CEO sitting in a boardroom who just cut 600 jobs because they said, we're going to focus and lean into our big IPs with microtransactions in them. You did it. Stop. Or else this <laughs> will just get worse. I don't and to be clear, um, if he's not being a, a fucking troll, um, he is... Uh, Absolutely, one thousand percent jealous of that CEO in the boardroom. Uh, reverse true, or he's the only one who knows it's not real. Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, we're all in Phil's Truman Show. He's running, he's running the whole thing, and it's all, it's all an act. Um, but make no mistake, man, he he wants to be the guy in the boardroom doing nothing and getting money from the, from the plebs, you know, just mohaha, look at my bottom line and look at me make all this money. That is his dream job. I don't know what else to say. You have to stop the fucking madness and stop the bad behavior. Stop the madness. Okay. That's what I have to say about that. And if you disagree, you're wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, someone walked me through the laugh, right? Uh, his I know I've talked about it before, but how, All right. how do you... How do you... <clears throat> Let's get the shout-outs, because now we're running late on the show. Oh, yeah, we got uh, to talk about money. So a troll did a couple super chats, and I banned him because he's uh, an idiot, so that was great. <sighs> all right, so while I'm transitioning here, yeah, Phil has a best friend, his horse cat. He tells all the time he doesn't have time and doesn't need friends because he's the happiest he's been in a happy marriage. I saw... I saw someone... or heard that he had done that again that he was talking about how happy he is and he doesn't have oh boy cope session coming up eventually oh no that's yeah two days ago well, could be popular if he wanted to we may have to go skip to that one um i have to make a living guilt trip just the one i fell asleep to yes i started watching this one because i uh I saw premiere day of failure begging and guilt tripping. I started watching it and I was like, oh, I need to fall asleep though. So, oh, you guys actually can't. Can you see the one that I'm looking at? Probably not, but that's okay. Um, this is the one we're talking about though. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, typing snort, is hard on my phone. That's all right, Sean. Snort, snort, snort. There's a lot to say here. Oh. Number one. Hold on, let me channel my inner fill, uh, inner fill there, Sean. I mean, you're the only one talking in chat. I don't know why Chad's not talking to me. Fuck it, let's keep going. Streams did well. Attendance was great, and people showed up and engaged. It was really cool in that regard that we had a lot of viewers on the streams today. And that, sh that should literally be all you want. Sadly, the uploads are all getting demonetized because YouTube, in its all this fucking idiocy, is claiming the music in these fucking games as a soundtrack cover. It says, oh, you're, committing, you're doing a cover of a song. No, I'm not. <laughs> So tell me you don't understand hash algorithms or hash values or um, auto, you know, I'm making coffee, dude. <laughs> you know who's miserable, no addict, like Phil is happy at all. Every day is Groundhog Day for Phil with no end. You know, but yeah, he needs to get to that point in Groundhog Day that Bill Murray got to where um, he takes the toaster upstairs or he um, walks in front of the large moving object. Uh, he needs to get to that point sooner than later. And my God, my pause game is on point yet again today. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, so let me let me refresh my memory. Oh, that's not my play button. This is. It says, "Oh, you're coming. You're doing a cover of a song." No, I'm not. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. So algorithmics, uh, <laughs> algorithmic or auto or whatever you want to call it, classification of music is not. Looking at your context of of what you're making your video about. It is listening for... There's a clip where Phil cr 
cries, thinking about dying, leaving behind Cat and Jasper. That happened recently. No. Well, if we don't, so if we don't find that in Snort's stuff, uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to to actually watch that. Um, that'll be fun. But I. Phil here does not understand how auto classification or auto categorization works, and that it doesn't take into effect or into account that oh, you know, you're you're doing a stream because no, this this motherfucker is is trying to monetize, and when he's trying to monetize, he's playing fucking Final Fantasy VII music. He's he's, he's not licensed to do so. Fucking strike it. Which, yeah, that's how that works. I'm not performing a cover song. It's the real song in the game, and your content ID matching and claiming the videos. I'm I, that's really pissing me off. Because, you know, it's a brand new playthrough. Within uh -huh. a few days, it'll probably get a good amount of views. But now I can't make any money on it. I have to sit here. <sighs> but now I can't make any money on it. Like, bro. You're disputing a million I... content ID claims on these videos because YouTube is trash these days when it comes to music. Okay, then no leave. Sense. Then leave. Then leave. Then leave. Go somewhere else. That I should have to do that. But I have to. Okay? <sighs> now. Yes. You, don't, you know me. I'm honest. I'm going to tell you the truth. Oh, okay? boy. A fan donated a Cloud Strife wig for me to wear for this playthrough, right? They said, yeah, when you hit your hat goal, wear the, wear this wig. Uh -huh. People would definitely be, you know, kind of convinced. <laughs> oh, my God. People would be convinced to contribute to your, your Final Fantasy streams if you give them something special. So I want to... Convinced to contribute. Um, I don't... I don't think that's how that's supposed to work, my dude. I think people are supposed to want to contribute because they, they like you and... That's that's about it. There's there, you're not supposed to be. I, I, God damn it, I apologize. Um, holy shit, disaster stream. I just lost both inputs. Okay, good, they're back. Uh, that was why I was trying to redo this. Uh, I lost both my monitor inputs. Um, my left one at first. That's when I was I dragged the window over to my right, and then uh, then I lost my right monitor, and they're both back now. So that's good. Um. Well, let me, again, that sidetracked my thoughts. Let me back it up just a second. Something special. There so I want to donate a Cloud Strife wig that you can wear during the playthrough. Here it is, actually facing forward, okay? So I show it off this morning on the podcast. Everyone's laughing. Oh, that's right. He said it was uh, motivated to donate. Like, that... They, they, if your content is good enough, right? And I'm not saying mine's any good. But if your content is good, Phil, from a business... But this, again, is why I don't. I don't uh, bank on or I haven't quit my fucking job to be a streamer uh, is because if your content is good, people will give you money. My content is good for the thousand people who, 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 who sub and watch my shit. That's not enough to make a living. Moving on. But if I was a streamer, I'm not going to, I'm not, I, I'm going to have promos. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, hey, I'm going to do a giveaway to try and increase my viewership. Yeah, sure. No problem. But just to say, oh, I want to out and out say, let's say for the sake of argument, I was going to do like a fight. Well, my dogs are going nuts. I was going to do like a, a, a PS5 giveaway, right? If I was going to say, hey, you guys got to come by the stream. You got to click the like button and that'll give you an entry into the giveaway. That makes sense. You know, but what I wouldn't, say, what I wouldn't say is, what I'm trying to do uh, by giving away this by by giving away this PS5. This PS5 is uh, five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars, guys. It's five hundred. Um, and um, okay. It only really makes sense that I give this away if I get more than five hundred dollars. And so I need you guys to step up. Like that's the scummy shit that. No, you, that's not how you do it. You put some level of mask on, yes, but it's the it's the business mask, not the I'm a piece of shit mask. And then when you or I'm not a piece of shit mask, and you take it off, you reveal you're a piece of shit. Now, I've been seeing actual chats come through here, but uh, I I don't want to start here at the bottom. So give me two seconds here. Oh my, let's see. Um, hey man, it's been a while. Hi, cat. Yes, it has. It has been a hot minute since I have uh, since I've started streaming. Yeah, he got mad. Because his first stream on Final Fantasy was on the last day of the month. Oh, that's right! And he didn't get money to go donate, and, and he was pissed. Which, again, is, is more mo uh, evidence that his dents pay with disability checks. The next stream, he was in the first, and he got support, and then the 30 made like $7 again. King B. Cruel says, Damn, you're up early, bro, unless you're East Coast time. Good to see me back. No, I am not East Coast time. I am Central. I am Central time. Um, but 
as the uh, community post and my Twitter thing said that I pushed out, I uh, I would have started at nine, but I am I am running my my fill timeline and I have taxes at ten o'clock. I have a, I am an appointment with my tax guy at ten a.m. Uh, he went on a rant about RPG overload. His solution was to put BG the <laughs> on rotation since it's the only thing making him money. Stop detracting without Coraz. Stop detracting without Coraz. Without Cor- Otter? Without Otter, maybe? Oh, no, without Coraz. Oh, actually, I, I, I didn't even look at the name Coraz. I'm sorry. Stop detracting without Coraz. I get it now. Okay, my bad. It's like, is that a misspelling of Otter? Because Otter's not on this one, or... No. Thing is, he would never actually give any any away anything worth of actual monetary value. <laughs> Hello, Spoonman. I've Eber almost done. I'll get him to rate... Hey! Coraz, my man. Wouldn't that be nice? Sean Gonzalez, what's up? Coraz refers to himself <laughs> when Phil pisses him off. You guys are great. You guys are great. I love it. Literally, the only thing that I hope I get, because it's the dopamine hit of dopamine hits, is uh, an active chat when I do these things. I love it. Thank you, guys. I think, wow, that's supposed to be Cloud Strive, I guess. I mean, maybe it's Cloud. You know, it doesn't look that good. Maybe if I put it on, it'll look a little better. But it definitely doesn't look great, right? It's hilarious because the pictures of this oh, thing I mean... on YouTube, or excuse me, the pictures of this thing on, on freaking Amazon look so good. And you get it, and it looks like this. Does that look like Cloud? It looks like, you know, if Cloud put his finger in a power socket and rubbed his head on a static electricity shocked thing and didn't cut his hair for like two months. That I'm actually surprised that um, that, that could have been a, pr- a primo spot for a fucking uh, a scat joke and he missed it. Maybe that's Cloud then, right? But that's what they give you. So, I mean, would have been hilarious to see this, right? And here's the thing. Baldur's Gate 3 which is a playthrough going on for two and a half God, months, has been getting exceptional support when I play it. Now, the viewership for that playthrough dwindled. The, I don't get many viewers on the streams, nor on the... On- okay, hold on. Hold on. Um, This is the guy who says he doesn't want to be Mr. Views. I'm not Mr. Views. I'm not Mr. Views. He wants to be the guy who, uh, uh, who, 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 who has the... He makes money. He wants to make a living making making content for his curated people. Why does view why do views matter? I don't get it. Why did if he got if he if he got like um a hundred views per video, but he was making four hundred dollars in tips every single time, would this be a thing? Because I don't think it would. I mean videos, but the people that are there support the streams, okay? We did not hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Sean Gonzalez, yes, the Eat It rant. I've actually covered a video about that. Um, if you're new to my page, feel free to go back and listen to my hot takes on bullshit. Um, the Eat It rant um, was pretty fucking amazing. And if uh, if you didn't see right above you there, Sean, King Be Cruel is actually a member of my... Uh, he got gifted a membership and is a, a member of the uh, Gem Rat Tractor Squad. The hat tips call today at all. We didn't even get close. The first stream I... Oh, okay, hold on. Hit the hat tips goal today at all. We didn't even get close. Does this come off as anybody else like um, a fifth grade teacher uh, who, who who looked at their class and they said, if we get, um, uh, if, if we sell a hundred candy bars class, we're going to get an extra 10 minutes of recess. And the kids kind of half-ass it. And then... They come back a week later, they turn into the stuff, and they say, now class, we didn't sell a hundred candy bars. We didn't even come close. Like this chastising, yes, Phil always talks to his tents like they're kindergartners, yes. The first stream, I think we hit like 50 bucks, 55. The second stream, we barely got 20. Oh, and uh, in, in case of how long I've been out of the loop, um, I think it's been 11 days. Um, it has been an absolute fucking nightmare of work. And, whoops, uh, to answer an earlier question, has work been stressing me out? The answer is a little bit, but that's okay. 20 bucks, okay? Okay, so I guess you guys didn't want to see that. that I don't know shit. what else to say. Yeah. A fan donated it thinking, wow, this would really give incentive. People would want to see Phil look stupid on the playthrough. It would be funny. No, okay? I uh, I think I, I heard about this going on and somebody postulated the theory or that I read about it in a comment or something like that, that Phil actually was hoping, uh, he said it, he switched it from 150, 100 to 150, not only because he's a giant piece of shit, but because he went, oh, if I get to a hundred, which is where he's been getting mostly, he's been having a hard time getting to 150 lately. Trolls will want to see me in the hat to make fun of me. So that'll guarantee me another $50 worth of income. And so that's why he switched it. And so this, this rant, it's actually not to the dense. This rant is to the, to the trolls. 
saying, I can't believe you guys didn't want to make fun of me. Um, yeah, today was the last day of the month for me. You know, it's, it's, it's leap yes, year. It's the 29th of February. I... So it's the final day. Did he just pig explain leap year? Day of the month. And the first thing I explained to everyone on the podcast today is that sadly this month was really messed up for me because of all those gifted memberships that were fake, that, that were not paid for, and I'm not getting paid for them. For. That's income I used to have, that for. I'm down somewhere upwards back of $1,000 to $1,500 of income that I used to get every month, and I'm not getting it anymore. So I was hoping that today, after a whole month where everyone yelled at me and said, you're playing too much Baldur's Gate, you're playing too much Tekken, you're playing too much the same game. Hold up, hold up, hold up, $2 from the Abyss can only do this for now, might join next month. Dude, the Abyss, that is awesome, man. You didn't have to do that. Thank you. And, and if you join next month, you're welcome to the Gym Rat Tractor Squad. You'll get to see my videos the day before they air. There, my, my videos go out at 10 a.m. Um, when I make them, uh, the next day that I make them. But uh, Gym Rat Tractors, uh, they get to have it uh, prior to. And then, I, I'm going to butcher this, is that? Yeah, Isaiah Avia comes in with the Fiverr. Thank you. You're going to get a readout here in a second. And uh, hopefully my shit is functioning my, what, what do you call it, the... Stream elements, because I've, I've got my uh, my view counter working, so hopefully the stuff comes in. I know it's delayed. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll figure it out. We want variety. Play the new games. I said, well, what new games? Suicide Squad suck. Helldivers 2 is an online co-op game. That is Hello. not my style. It's not what you want to see me play. The Abyss. I played Welcome. Battle World. It got played out. We stopped playing it. Like, I'm playing the new games. Oh, you're right? the one who gave me the $2. But you guys are saying you're not interested I see in the them. Abyss, you but I saw the Abyss in gray, not in the, in the blue. And I was like, I haven't seen the Abyss in Gray yet. You know, I am. Like, I love Tekken 8. My bills, dude. My I need bills. a real interest yeah, in it. You know, I I'm really getting, do. I like, need that money to pay my bills. The electric bill. The internet bill. It's not half the interest that I had in Street Fighter 6 when it came out. And so all month, everyone yelling. Play the new games. Play the new games. Okay, I'll play them when they come out. Here's... It's always we when there's a problem and he can't make a decision because he never wants to be blamed for something going wrong. Well, something good happened to this ISO Phil. Yes, yes, that is actually correct. Um, the 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 thing about him saying we need to do this, we or we've done this, or we we need to do that, um, being a uh, something needs to be done, and then when he is trying to make you feel indebted, it's I do this, I do this, I do this. Yes. Here's the new game release. I need day. that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. <laughs> Nope, Isaiah didn't Avila stole. donated five dollars through super chat. Thank you again, Isaiah. So we didn't see that that. And yeah, like I think all day I got three memberships. Seriously, like all day, three memberships, and they were re-ups too. Um the super chats were okay, not amazing, but okay, you know. But it's a premiere day, it's supposed to be the big new release. And hold on, I gotta back that up. I because I I heard it. The super chats were okay, not amazing, but okay, you know. One more time. All day, three memberships, and they were re-ups too. Um the Super Chats were okay, not amazing, but okay, you know. But it's a premiere day. It's supposed to be the big new release. One more time. We're going to back that up uh, the, a full 20 seconds. Because he's talking about he's talking about the, the total amount of support for the day, right? So, let, oh, fuck. Did I just fuck that up? I may have. Oh, well. Let's see if I can't. Baldur's Gate, Like a Dragon, Sea of Stars, oh. March, April. But I thought this was the exception. People are telling me, oh, no. this. Oh. If you already played the demo, you've already seen oh. doing that. Than buying a brand new game that everyone screamed at me to play, wanted me to play all month. Play it. Play. And so all month, everyone yelling, play the new games, play the new games. Okay, I'll play them when they come out. Here's a new game release day. I no, nope, didn't hit it. a tape's goal, so we didn't see that. That and yeah, like I think all day I got three memberships. There we go. Seriously, like all day, three memberships, and they were re-ups too. Um, the super chats were okay, not amazing, but okay, you know. But it's a premiere day. It's supposed to be the big new release. Holy shit! Just. I got three new members, and they were re-ups. That's still full fucking value. It's not like a re-up is discounted. It's not like... And his, his memberships are like five bucks, right? So it's not like it, it was like, oh, we only got three new memberships. That's 15 bucks. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. And so we got, we got, so we got super chats, and they were, they were okay, I guess. But I got two. I'm happy. If I would have gotten zero, I'd been happy. And then he bitches about fucking. This is the boardroom. This is the fucking boardroom again, and, and and profits are down. And no, it was not a great day whatsoever for income. A typical day. Oh, uh, 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 it was not a great day for income. Who the fuck gives a shit if it was a great day for income? You piece of shit. Let. 
when I would have played Baldur's Gate and something else randomly at night, actually would have been, I would have oh, got more support doing that. Uh, Koras, um, you're adding Sean. Let's see. Phil literally spilled water when opening a bottle of water inside the manufacturer. Overfilled the bottle. Treat Star Wars Battlefront Street. Best example of never doing anything wrong. I actually forgot about that, but I was aware of it. And then uh, I saw Cor uh, Coraz say, the literal stars and planets and elements align just to screw over Phil. What a victim. Uh, made $7.50 in eight hours on some shitty blackjack table the other day. It happens. Yes, that is that is true. Um but no, so I'm going to give a, a recommendation here. It's actually in my next video as well that I do. Uh, I, I had a, a eight plus hour drive yesterday because um, my flights got fucked up getting home. And um, so during that time, I, I uh, listened to an audio book that I bought, I don't know how long ago, uh, called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And no, I don't get any money for anybody who runs out and wants to listen to the book or what, whatever. But this dude is one of the hardest motherfuckers I have ever had the privilege of even reading about. The guy actually, it's an audio book, so he actually, um, they kind of do a podcast when they read it. They, the, his ghostwriter reads a bit of the book, and then they do a podcast about it. This dude um, was beat within an inch of his life every goddamn day, almost. Um, he, uh, he, he, He's a, a black male in 80s, 90s, early 2000s America. So there's more racism now than, or more race, racism then than there is now. Um, ended up becoming a 300 pound guy. Motivated himself to, to do better. Lost 100 plus pounds in three months. Um, went through Bud's Hell Wink not once, not twice, but three times, and that's where I am in the book. He's on his third phase of Hell Week for SEALs training, and he's he's made it past Hell Week, and he just found out both his shins are broken. And if he if he doesn't continue, he's going to get washed out of buds. So where I'm thinking this is going, because he does become a Navy SEAL, is <clears throat> the man completes the rest, I think the first, the first third of the course is a month and a half. So he has three... Month and a half, month and a half, month and a half. Yeah. No, two. First two months. And so he has still four more months to go through Bud's training, SEAL's training, on two broken legs. Meanwhile, um, Phil plays the hot new releases, guys. I can't believe life is screwing him over like this. It's fucking terrible. Then buying a brand new game that everyone screamed at me to play, wanted me to... Cora, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Are you sure it's not gout? <laughs> play it all month. Play it, play it, play it. Okay, what happened? Right? Now, there are some factors involved. Factor number one, it's release day. A lot of people likely are playing this game today. And if they're playing it, they don't immediately want to run to watch me play it live on the stream because maybe they don't want to spoil, right? However, that I'm a little skeptical about that. Why? Because I didn't play the demo. The demo was the first three hours. Not Nibelheim, Nibelheim, whatever. So, Nibelheim. if you already played the demo, you've already seen that. There's no way you could be spoiled by my first stream. So, huh? Is that really what it was? Oh, uh, why the, why the, huh? Or the Hans? Why? Why? Was? I don't know. I don't know if I should believe that that's really what it was or not. It could be that people are all RPG'd out. I... So, he's willing to have these thoughts of it could be X, it could be Y, it could be Z, it could be A, it could be B, it could be C, it could be D. Hey, uh, Phil. Um, it could be that you uh, have the grading personality of like literally somebody taking a cheese grater and rubbing it up against your back and that, um, just goddamn, you are annoying as shit. No, that's not it. You're a detractor. I wouldn't blame you. I've been playing nonstop RPGs for the last six plus months. You know, People Baldur's Gate, Like a Dragon, Sea of Stars, put Sea of Stars on hiatus, and now this one comes out. It's like there's too many RPGs. I agree with you. I've been telling you guys all year this was going to happen. Oh, that yeah, that always like feels in January, great. February, then. March, April, they jam-packed the whole first quarter of the year with too many RPGs, too many to possibly play, too many to enjoy, and certainly too many that people would not get burnt out. No, so I get not, it if that's the case. It's not that people get burnt out, Phil. It's that you can't, like, in, in with action games, with fucking Call of Duty, with, with whatever, the, the stimulation on the screen is high enough that you don't really have to talk over it. Even fighting games, you know, everybody is on edge um, hoping that you get fucking bodied, you know? And then, you know, we actually watch to see you get bodied, which is why when you do good, your streams turn to shit. Um, but when it comes to RPGs, you're supposed to be having, like, active dialogue constantly. Like, just 
hey, you know, how are you guys doing? Fuck, you could talk about, you could be uh, DS, DS politics in an RPG by just playing the game, you know, not talking about, oh, I wonder if I have to uh, uh, fucking uh, 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 use ice against an enemy that you fought like 38 times already. Everybody knows how you're going to kill it. You're going to kill it, move on. And you could be talking about DS politics in there, but no, you just shut the fuck up and, and you look at your chat and you scream, why aren't you guys paying attention? Why aren't you talking to Daddy Phil? These people are burnt out on RPGs, then so be it. But I thought this was the exception. People are telling me, oh, no, this is Final Fantasy VII. This is the one everyone's going to like, everyone's going to be pumped for, right? He so here it is. And I, there was good attendance. Again, don't get me wrong. Attendance on the stream was, was good. Serious. My viewership was up okay. and everything. But I wasn't making ad revenue because all the stuff got claimed by this content ID. So that's li literally zero. Isaiah, I do know that he compares his life to Job. Um I really, I really hope one day he's actually listens to or reads the book by Goggins, or he, uh, he reads or listens to uh, Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin, another great book, by the way, uh, that I talk about in um, uh, in my, my my next video, which releases to non-members at ten o'clock today. Um, I'm late, but welcome back, Smoke One Mo Gaming. Thank you, bud. I appreciate that, and welcome back to the chat. Um, but yeah, it's I, I I hope that he he reads one of these books because all every single one of these books talks about taking accountability, like actual personal accountability, and not to the I I just don't know what I can do type of accountability. That's not it's not taking accountability at all, and um, I I think it would actually cause a singularity in his brain, and uh, we would have no more Phil problem, right? And the support for a brand new game was shockingly low. I literally would have done better if I played other games today. Like, then guess what you probably should have done, you dumb shit. Like if I, again, Baldur's Gate and like Tekken or even Baldur's Gate and like a dragon probably would have done better than if I had just played this all day like I did Oh, today. and there was much rejoicing. Yay. And that's surprising. Now the question is what's going to happen because this is a, yet another 60 plus hour game. Okay, another one. And my plan is this week to play 17 hours of it. I've played five and a half today. And I got four more major streams planned to this. You know, Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And no one between cares. Those, excuse me. Friday, Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday. Hypnotone Phil doesn't read. Um, you know, I, I can see that. I can see that. I actually have a hard time with reading myself. I, I, but I can sit myself down and relax. And because uh, I, I have generalized anxiety. If you can't tell by my voice and my overall mannerisms. Um, so it's very hard for me to sit down and turn some pages, uh, especially when I have a phone. I have to put my phone away from me to read. Uh, but audiobooks, you're right. That would still probably be too much effort for Phil. But I, I hope he does it at some point. I really do. Somebody should gift it to him. Tuesday, I misspoke. Between those streams, you know, are people going to start showing up more? Are people going to actually support the playthrough? I, I don't know, you know? And it's hilarious, too, because you can tell the troll element comes in. So there's a new card game they've, they've instituted or, or, you know, shown in it play it you have to play it at the beginning because if you don't you get kicked out of this first town and you can't go back until later so there's three games so you know you spend like 20 30 minutes doing it it's in there it's content oh this is wait he spent 20 minutes doing the three because I, I i have final fantasy 7 and i i uh i did the three card games because i was like oh cards and i actually kind of wanted to do it as a mini game because i always i bypassed the one in the witcher uh i can't ghent i think is the one in the witcher i, I bypassed that one um quite a bit i did it every now and again but i didn't really take it seriously the three card games, like, yeah, the last one with the, the lady with the boxes all around her was kind of a bitch, but overall, it was, that took like 15 minutes, and not only that, I could have made that interesting, I could have been like, motherfucker, how is it that I am supposed to, not, I could have raged out on that, because she did piss me off, but Boy, I, I don't know. I didn't make the game, I didn't put the card game in the first town, they did. Why are you complaining to me? Oh, I'm gonna slow this one down to 100. percent I cannot. I can't believe what I'm about. What I think we're about to hear. Make the game. I didn't put the card game in the first town. They did. Why are you complaining to me that the content they put in the game is boring? That's a let's make. Oh God, that is. Oh, Jesus fuck. Okay, I want to make sure I'm getting. All right, so Phil has an absolutely shitty stream. Right, people. People are telling him, "Dude, your stream fucking sucks. You're playing this fucking card game. Why are you playing this card game? I we don't want to see it. You fucking suck at it. Move on. I'm not going to give you money until you move on from this card game." And his answer is, "Why are you complaining to me? I didn't do it, and I have to do this. Continue to give me money, you piece of shit." 
that is that is the summation of what just <sighs> people are complaining to you Phil because they don't want to see the thing that you're doing they don't and they're trying to tell you this and you're telling them get well I said that wrong I'm sorry you're telling them to get fucked I, oh criticism of the game i'm playing the game trying to enjoy it trying to learn the card game do it at the time you're supposed to do it and people are going to complain oh that's boring no you know it's bullshit criticize the game not the streamer I'm no phil no i criticize then don't play the game then if we're good if they're criticizing the game saying the game is fucking terrible uh Oh my god, he really did. He said hate the game, not the player. That it like but on a on, on such a different level. It's <laughs> Oh my god. Well Phil said when people do tell him something, he doesn't want to do it. So I think we're power tripping and giving his tits pet content on I'm pretty sure that not every streamer who played the game skipped the entire first town. You're out of your mind, alright? So <clears throat> No, they're just... You know, it they're does just, piss me off when people try to be negative about premiere streams on that on purpose, you know. They didn't skip it. They're just more entertaining than you, Phil. That's what they do. They come in with their new accounts. Oh, who is this person? Never seen them before, right? Sit there and complain. Ah, this is boring. This is boring. Shut the fuck up. I'm oh. trying to enjoy the game on launch day. I am enjoying the game. So, uh, by this by this logic, right, um, I could I could start the cult of DSP and I could make... It, uh, a, a, as the cult leader, I could for, forbid, forbade, make it forbidden that any of my followers have an email account. And I could get a, a following of 100 followers, and then finally when I got 100 followers, I could say, my children, my children, it is time. You may now go, and you may now have an email account so you can see Big Daddy Phil. And they all go on, and he does something terrible, and they all say, you know, this, this actually kind of sucks. Well, because you're new, you're obviously a troll. Get the fuck out of here. I'm getting immersed. I learned the card game, which I don't usually do. I usually would skip those things. I want to learn this one. Oh, complain, complain, complain. Unbelievable. Yep, he lives in a bubble you know? and won't accept thing is, reality. I had a good time. So far, I'm liking the game. I want to get further into it. I want to enjoy it. But I'm hoping that people are going to actually support this game. If this is a game that literally the support is going to be slow every day, yeah, guess what? I'm going to have to fucking balance it with Baldur's Gate again. Which I Okay, balance it with Baldur's Gate again. Shut up and move on. Like, the, the game is for us, not for you. I don't want to do. I want to keep playing this game and get as far as I can, because later this month we got games like Rise of the Ronin. Like God Avocado, have you ever played the game Papers, Please? Where where you have to, not only do you have to have a, a, a passport, and it has to be of a certain color, but some of the other countries you have to have a, a an accompanying form, and that accompanying form has to have a work visa. The work visa has to have a, an accompanying job description, and if you have none of those things, then you get turned away. And uh, Yeah, it's... <laughs> That's, that's that's so from now on i'm gonna I'm, this is this is now canon this is canon <laughs> when you're playing papers please you're not letting people into what is it Arikos, aristos there it is Arit you're letting people in or, or you are you're you're welcome to uh you're letting them into Arstoska, but uh Arstoska is actually phil's chat and every time you let in the wrong one you're letting in a troll Bleed Dragon's Dogma 2 because now I'm starting to strongly question if I should even play it because it's another RPG and yes it's very different than the other RPGs we've played but it's another RPG and people might say oh that's another one I'm not going to show up or whatever you know I can't make <laughs> really them not does. make a million RPGs they fucked up these game developers have all cannibalized each other they all made the same genre of RP or of game within a three month period it's it's almost like and hear me out here I know this is fucking crazy it's almost like when they see something successful, like an RPG, or a throwback, or a retro, or a this, or a that, that the game developers go, holy shit, that's making money, and then they go do it. That's, that's just business, my dude. That's business. Asana, that none of them looked at the release schedule and said, this makes no sense to have this many RPGs in it. Why would anybody look at a release schedule of other developers and say, I'm not going to release my shit to make money because another developer did? Who the fuck would do that? Who, what, what, what restaurant looks across the street and goes, oh, they're doing a special on steak. Well, we should go ahead and stop our special on steak then. What? And he has a, I, little bit about me. I don't have a degree. I am not a college graduate. 
I'm a high school graduate, and I have specialized training in in uh, different things like computer forensics, mobile forensics, uh, things like that. But I don't have a degree. And God damn that he really is. He's looking at my soul right now. But anyway, um, in business, do they teach you that if your if your competitor is running the special, you don't you don't run the special you had planned because it's too similar? Because I don't I don't know. Yes, I know. I know Phil is technically on paper smarter than me. Actually, he's probably smarter than me in all ways. I'm a, such a piece of shit because I'm a troll. In a short period of time. But they did. They did it. They've done it. And now you're going to see sales numbers are going to start to get split because not everyone can buy every RPG and play through a 100-hour game back to back to back like that. You know? Um, They're not counting on everybody buying it. They're counting on their... <sighs> But I hope that you will. If you if you were not on the streams today, it's all good. Hopefully you will come by. Oh, it's all I'm good. I'm only playing it now once a day. It's all good, ladies so and gentlemen. So I'm five and a half hours in now. Tomorrow I'm only doing three hours. That's three hours every day. You will likely, if you're playing this game, be way ahead of me. All right? So I hope that you will come by and hang Yeah, Koraz, I know he's the uh, valedictator. I know. Valedictorian. Um, and hold on real quick. Uh, Flutterdark, we have Relink Reloaded. <laughs> you also feel shut up. I played into Reload and Relink and I played Final Fantasy 7, so am I nobody? Flutterdark, you're obviously a detractor. You're a piece of shit. You know, it's obvious. Okay, so why don't you um, get your spoon. Get your spoon. Alright. Get your ass up to Renton. Okay. Knock on his door. Tell him to bend over. And go ahead. Go ahead and eat the, the shit out of his ass. Uh, no, but Fuck, I don't even remember where I was going with this. Disaster stream. Let me back it up 10 seconds, see if I can remember. You will likely, if you're playing this game, be way ahead of me. All right? So I hope that you will. Oh, that's what it was. The valedictorian thing. Um, so Phil is, in my opinion, the kind of guy that, I, like I said, I have a, um, uh, I have a, a, an in-depth knowledge of uh, computer forensics, mobile forensics, uh, things like that. So cell phones, uh, computers, I can actually dive into them, recover things, things of that nature. Um, if we were to have a chat or if he was to listen to me uh, in, in regards of saying, hey, this is how you could know he was, uh, uh, this is how we could prove, which I, I have theorized, how we could prove he is uh, um, down from the rafters if I could extract the contents of his phone. Even if he said, oh, uh, even if he maliciously deleted it. But if I told him that, he's the type of guy who would say, I see, and... Um, uh, what degree do you have? I, I don't have a degree. Oh, I see. Were you valedictorian of your high school? Uh, no, actually, I was, I was a pretty average student. Yeah, see, okay, so why are we going to believe you? Like, resting on his laurels of the past. Like, a degree means fucking nothing at all in this day and age. Yeah, it's it's. An, it, I'm not saying that if you have a degree, it's worthless or anything like that, or that you're stupid for having it. But what I'm saying is, is that I know people that don't have degrees that are way smarter than me and i know people with degrees that are way dumber than me too come by and hang out on the streams and hopefully support them um at this point now for this month coming up goraz did he talk about bagging thick latina chicks in college please don't tell me he did TSP, just because people are ahead doesn't guarantee that they watch streams especially with youtube algorithms they won't cause spoilers so. yep Things original didn't. A degree means nothing if you can't show the skills in the degree. Yep, 15 years ago I was hot shit on YouTube syndrome. Yes, they do that all the time. If you aren't an accredited expert, your opinion is invalid. Um, so funny you, sh you should say that, Corez. I was actually sworn as an expert in three counties for computer and mobile forensics. I am going to be ridiculously tight with my money, and it sucks. I want to talk about it every day. Yes, but you I'm do. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to to raise you know, a good amount of tips and stuff because I need it now just to get through this month because of the, the, the dip on YouTube, the fact that there were no new releases in February, and the ones that were there, like I said, Tekken, people didn't like so much. It's frustrating. I, you know, oh, people tell me I'm doing everything right, oh, no. and I still take a hit because of trolls. What was I supposed to do? You know, I can't I can't fix YouTube. Um, I just hope that it turns around. I do. Like, for a first day, it was like the vibe on the streams was good, the game was good, the support was slower than a regular day. That's disheartening, shocking, and I hope that it does turn around. That's five in a row. That's alarming. That's all I could think of when he said that. The King Jad bingo thing. Five in a row. That's alarming. Around, Especially if you watch this playthrough on demand after the fact you like it. You know, I would hope that you will come by and support it at some point. Or you don't even have to be on the stream. You know what I mean? Like, you can just support it behind the scenes however you want. You send a tip. I would say... Oh, however you want. He's gonna... 
He's going to allow you to support him however you decide. Isn't that wonderful? Big Daddy Phil is allowing you to give him money in multiple ways. Super thanks, but likely the videos are all going to get claimed, so you can't do that. Um, yeah, all of you should send me a tip. I, I have decided. You should all send me a t Oh, wait, no. Uh, I don't have tips for this very fucking reason. You know, you can maybe pledge to my Patreon. You can do many different <laughs> things, right? Please consider it. Uh, I, I want to play this a lot and get far in it before other things, but now it's looking like, shit, what if this really, this pattern continues? Do I have to, to split again between Baldur's Gate and Final Fantasy? I might have to. That wasn't my intention. I wanted to keep doing Final Fantasy, but I have to do what makes sense. I have to make a living, right? To... Okay, so this is him doing this, this whole uh, uh, claiming the other thing. You know, um, yeah, you can give me money, or you could give me money, or you could give me money, and also you can give me money. Yes, that is Phil through and through. But this, um, oh, fuck. God damn it, man. Cortez, Cortez you, you, you are constantly breaking my train of thought, man. It's killing me. I have me. to do what makes sense. I have to make a living, right? To... Declaring the other. That's right. So he, he does this thing where, where, so, so here it's, I don't want to have to play Baldur's Gate all the time, but I have to make a living, right? But earlier he played, um, what was it? He, he either started with Like a Dragon and finished with Tekken, or he started with Tekken and finished with Like a Dragon, and he got, you know, you know, two wet nickels that he couldn't even rub together, and was like, I, people are asking me, why am I playing Tekken and why am I playing Like a Dragon? Because I want to, and this is my hobby. And I, I don't, I don't want to play Baldur's Gate three all the time. And I don't want it. So it's, it's not a, it's, it's not a job. It's a hobby. And if it's a hobby, fine. It's a hobby. But you don't have to tell people about your fucking business aspect of it. If you need to play Baldur's Gate three, go play fucking Baldur's Gate three, my dude. You don't need to pay bills. <sighs> so, all right. Pay his bills, his electric bill. Enjoy this first batch of videos. The five and a half hours of them. Oh, that was... tomorrow morning with a podcast. Hold on. Enjoy this first batch of videos, the five and a half hours of them. Oh, Bro. there's some resentment there. Enjoy this first batch of videos, the five and a half hours of them. Oh. Back tomorrow morning with a podcast with more Final Fantasy and with Friday Night Fights. All right, everyone, thank you. Have a good night. See you in the morning. Peace out. There is some resentment in that. The five and a half hours of them. Like, he pissed. He pissed, pissed. Let's see what else we got. That has... Uh, wow. I have to make a living. I have to pay my bills. The electric bill. DSP whines and rants about YouTube. They're not professional like him. I swear to fucking God, does he bring up the bug? Does he does he bring up the I found a bug on the fuck it, let's find out. Well let me tell you something, brother! Snort, 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 I thought you were, Cora, when you said I'll take a break, I was like, oh, he's going to take a break from stuff. No, 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 no. I'm not saying don't talk. I'm saying that, that you know, you, you, you engage. I like it when you engage. I, I'm i like, a, I, I'm a fiend for, 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 for chat like uh, Phil is for tips. I like the chats. So please, please don't ever think like I'm trying to tell you to shut up. I got the drip. Except in when I'm joking because you make me laugh so much and I tell you to shut up. That That is, that's in love. That's all good stuff there, okay? Now, before we get into er the meat of everything, okay, there's a couple of quick things I would like to talk about in regards to YouTube that are kind of weird that Snort. are affecting things. And I want you to be aware of this because it kind of happened uh, last night, and it did affect video uploads, and when video showed up, and I was annoyed by this, and it looks like it may continue to happen <laughs> moving forward. So let's talk about yes. this one first. Um, YouTube has a new issue. Woohoo. These appear all the time. Usually, these are things that aren't a big deal. And I could just get around, but in this case, this is one that seems uncontrollable. Oh, so last night, well, I should say yesterday afternoon, I finished my react show DSP versus the internet. And as usual, I queued up a whole bunch of videos to upload. Uh, there's two that were going to go live right there uh, when the stream went live. And then the other, uh, excuse me, I got a burp coming up. I'll let you know when it's going to come. I, okay. I'll turn around. Anyway, um... Yeah, two went live right after the show ended, the DSP versus the internet stream, that is. And then four were going to go live over the course of the week, one a day, every morning at 10 a.m. So I uploaded all those video files as usual, and I went on dinner break with my, my wife here. Hold, hold, wait, 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 and I filmed those video files as usual, and I went on dinner break. Hold on, let's slow it down. I got to bring that back down. Let's do 0.75. With my, my wife. There was! There was! <laughs> I went on dinner break. With my, my wife. <laughs> with my, my, my wife. I 
Dude, what psychological level of damage do you have to have to correlate your mother with your wife? Here. And I come back to the stream, and I turn on the late stream uh, of the, the retro yep, reactor that back I did with Heavy yep. Rain on DSP Throwback, and I look at the videos, and they're all uploaded, but most of them say they're processing but aren't live yet. And I'm like... Tattoo Jesus, I haven't seen you in the chat, I don't think, before. Welcome, my dude. It's a little weird. Usually when you upload a video to YouTube, it processes relatively quickly. The only exception would be if it was a really, really long video. Like, for example, the streams that I do every day, okay? They take a long time to process because that's like a five, six hour video. <laughs> and YouTube takes its sweet time. It could take, take upwards of like 12 hours sometimes for that stream to fully process and be viewable as an on-demand video. Okay, so we're at two minutes and five seconds. I think it's two minutes, nine seconds. Two minutes. Snort's intro, I think, is like five or ten seconds. So we'll just say we're at two minutes. We're at two minutes of content of there's a problem. Does anybody know what the problem is yet? Like, this legitimately, I, I let's um, so I'm thinking, no big deal, right? So, I do my, my uh heavy rain stream last night, went really well. Come back, and half the videos have errored out saying YouTube is unable to process this video. Uh huh. Um, that's called uh, life. Sometimes things break. What I'm using. The same Dude, he's, Jarrett, uh, oh, Jarrett's new, I think. Jarrett, welcome. Um, I think he's done the my wife thing a uh, hundred times, or twenty times by camera in the last month. Vega! Holy shit, what's up, my dude? Thanks for coming by. Settings. The same hardware. The same everything. Here. And I don't know why YouTube would reject videos. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why are they rejecting videos and not processing them? Whoa, 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 whoa. D rejecting a video and not processing videos are two very, very separate things, my guy. M you might have had a fucking packet drop. You might have had fucking uh, a fucking lag spike hit. And it goes, dude, I was expecting shit. I timed out. I can't do this. You're going to have to re-upload. That's an error out. YouTube saying, I will, I am refusing to process this. You have no evidence of that. You know, so I'm trying to figure this out, and basically, it this didn't happen. I'm not even kidding. This didn't happen until like between midnight and one in the morning. They just sat there saying process, process, process. OBS Studio disconnecting, reconnecting. God, I hope that's not true. I hope you guys are able to see me. Oh, and apparently you weren't. So yeah, I don't know why, but I caught it. So great, great example. I just caught a lag spike. Right, I got an OBS notification. Hey, uh, we lost connection. We're reconnecting. It's a lag spike. It fucking happens. Okay. But, um, fuck, where was I going with this? Now I can't even fucking remember. See, I've done it myself this time. So, now I'll have to step it back and get so my I contacts. So I back out of kidding me. I'm going to sleep. That's what it is. I That's what it was. Sleep. So he, he goes to, he gets done at like 10 or 11. I want to see my videos finish when, when they upload. I want to make sure that they're, they're going. But, you know, my, mine are at max. I think the large, longest one I had was an hour, right? So I upload it. I let it go. And, you know, I like to get my stuff done. I, I get that. But if I'm going to be uploading four and five hours and it's 10 o'clock, I'm going to upload. I'm doing that shit in the morning. Fuck, that's right, though. I wake up in the mornings. Phil wakes up at fucking noon. Yeah. See, now I understand. Now, now I get it. why it's so important that it be done the night before. Makes sense now. I'm in the bedroom getting into bed when I realize this is happening. So I come back out of the bedroom. <laughs> To fix this, and I take a look at the heavy rain videos because now, of course, the heavy, the heavy rain stream rain is ended videos. and everything. Ooh. And yeah. basically, one of the heavy rain videos did exactly the same thing. Oh, so it no. wasn't just the react videos that were affected, it was also the heavy rain stuff. And I'm like, so what that means is YouTube is having processing issues with their servers, it has nothing to do with the video quality or anything. It's yes, it's called oh my god, it's fucking life, Phil. It's fucking life. It's always DNS. Let's let's get that clear. It's always DNS. DNS is always the problem. No, but seriously, um, that that just fucking happens, man. Sometimes shit happens. Oh my god. Uh, let me let me go through that. I've seen some stuff come through the chat. Uh, I'm usually quiet driving a semi to Utah, and this helps. Yeah, uh, tattooed Jesus. I um, I actually just did an eight hour haul from not a haul. I was I was actually driving driving my rental car, which was an Audi A3. Fun little car to drive, by the way. Um, but I was down in Texas, and uh, I had to do an eight hour plus up to. Uh, up to where I live, uh, not not a whole lot of fun. So I understand how having somebody to just jaw at you in the back end can 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 help you stay awake. Uh, Viga, you don't sleep, dear God. So it's eight fifteen in the morning where I'm at. Viga, are you 
Are you still up from the day before? Holy shit. Uh, uh, finally, those Ivy League rascals are at it again. Yes, yes they are. Uh, I thought it was a me problem, though. I It's back now. Oh, yeah, no, it was, yeah, it, that was me. Sorry. Uh, drove to New York during the Kingsley interviewing the Double Dutch Brothers stream. It was four hours and they covered my trip. Oh, I wake up at like 5 to 7 a.m. most days. Later, if I was awake long, I am with you. I uh, try to wake up at 4 a.m. Broside, by chance, am I a complete... By chance, you're a complete dude? Broside, by chance, you're a complete dude. Am I missing context here? Co Sorry, I said that wrong. Am I missing context? Sorry, I love driving with dumb Phil-style content on the radio. I had Atlas on uh, for about two and a half hours of my drive yesterday. So... Oh, am I, by chance, am I a computer dude? Am I a computer dude? Yes. Uh, computer forensics, digital forensics, uh, things like that. I am not, however, a programmer. Um, so I can't, I can't, I can script a little, uh, but I can't program. Uh, I can do a little bit of networking, but I am not a networking guru. But uh, my, 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 my expertise is explaining how things got where, uh, on a computer or on a phone or what those things that are on a phone or on computer mean in the grand scheme of things there yeah, it's on their end at any time i well um i hope my uh my my, my lovely chocolatey voice also helps you when i uh, when i talk all techy you know it's uh it's it's for your pleasure there cat i can upload a video and youtube might just say oh can't process the video and just cancel it out so i re-queued up everything to upload overnight and luckily it took this time they took all the videos and they all processed properly so <laughs> I would like to think the issue is fixed, but I don't think so. I think it's just kind of <laughs> random when you're uploading a video now and it won't process because that's what happened. It was like two of the React videos and one of the Heavy Rain videos wouldn't process. Oh, no. And it's funny because when people say stuff like this to me, because people say this all the time, Phil, when you upload your videos, Store. why don't you upload them in order? Yes. I'm getting Yes. In any given day. Why don't you upload them in order? Why? Let's say you play three to five hours of gameplay. And if it was supposed to be parts 20, 21, and 22, why is it that half the time it goes... Part 23 shows up first, then part 21, then part 22, okay? The reason is very simple. YouTube. YouTube's processing has always been weird. You okay, so this is what I'm talking about where Phil makes himself a victim all the time. This is that extreme ownership that, that I am a victim, in, that victim mentality that he has. I understand exactly what he's about to say because it's, it, it's just queuing, right? And queuing services are, they're simple because of course they are. It is, I have finished... File 23 first, I will now upload file, or I will now show file 23 is available. Oh, I now show file 21 available, and I now show file 22 available. Okay, great. That's how it's going to upload. So this is a known limitation of YouTube. Okay. Rather than bitch, all he has to do is upload them slower. He needs to upload 21st, wait for it to get done, or at least wait for it to get halfway done. If the file sizes are of, you know semi-equal value then do 21 then do 22 then do 23 this is an easy solve the problem is he's a lazy piece of shit you can upload three videos of exactly the same length you can upload them in the order that you want them to show up on youtube you know you could do all that and then what happens boom they just don't show up or they lo they freeze the last one yes it's a queuing service. You're dealing with multiple fucking servers that are doing processing. If, if you have one, if you if if you're running your fucking server one, and uh, you're running your first video, and on server one in some fucking warehouse somewhere, that AC unit goes down, processor temperatures jump by ten degrees Celsius. That shit's gonna slow down. It's life. It's you know works <sighs> first, and then you know it goes in a random order. It's really stupid how YouTube operates. Um. And I don't know why that is. I wish I did. But that's always been the case on YouTube. Now, what I always recommend to people, okay, is do not watch videos in the order that they publish on YouTube. If you're watching an ongoing playthrough, like let's say right now. Or you could make a fucking playlist. Like, how? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's let him be lazy. Let's let him be lazy. Um, we'll, 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 we'll do the Final Fantasy VII one, right? Because he's doing that now. Make a playlist. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playlist because you can then tell the playlist I want to have this one first and then this one second and then this one third and then this one fourth and it, 
if you, if you do it with the old stuff, right? If you do it with his stuff that are have hundred plus, what what would that take? What would that take to do? Maybe twenty minutes, maybe thirty minutes, right? And if you do it with the current playthrough, all you have to do is make the playlist, and then once you upload your three videos, add them in the order you want to add them. Now you have a playlist that's nice and organized. But again, I'm I'm thinking about normalcy. I'm thinking about you know how a human being would do something, not a pig roach with gout. Now you're watching Baldur's Gate three. Don't just sit yes, around today the upload <clears throat> waiting for YouTube. I, I didn't even know that you could even do to that. have the videos go live and click on the ones that go live immediately. All those videos automatically get added to the playlist. Every single time that I upload a video, it's an ongoing playlist. There are no videos that are just like random videos sitting around, um, unless it's a one-off video. Like maybe every once in a while, I'll have an impromptu Q&A stream with you guys, right? Um, and that's cool, and that will be in a playlist. But for the most part, all my videos, any game series, the, the weekly GSP versus <laughs> well, the internet show, the, the Heavy Rain Retro React, they're all in playlists. Let's be fair here. It's not like this is his job or anything. So all you got to do is when you see in your you know subscriber feed, oh, a new video has arrived. Okay, you don't click on the video. Go to the playlist. Click play, it'll resume from where you left off. Like, let's say, for example, you had watched every part of Baldur's Gate up to today, but not the new parts that are being added. If you just resume the playlist, it'll go right to the new video and play them in order. Okay, so, wait, so so he does do playlists? Hold on, hold on, I'm going to go... I'm not going to give him a view, but I am going to go check out his page here real quick. DSP Gaming. He, he does actual playlists. Where's DSP Gaming? Uh, video short. Hello, stories, everyone. Playlist. Hello, everyone. Blah, blah, blah. Tekken 8 March, Final Fantasy Rebirth playthrough. Okay. All right. So, I, wait a minute. It's DSP Super Bowl. Okay. Super, Super Bowl. Yeah. Two. Three videos. Tekken 8 in the Dark Awakens story mode. Wait. Tekken. But then he's got, he's got like three Tekken 8 videos. Now, I'm so confused. Let me, let me find one like, like a, an actual. Here we go. Robocop Rogue Series playthrough xbox series x 19 video. okay so he does place them in order let me see the playlist if you play okay i stand corrected i'll give him i'll give him i'll give him back some some prop here he does make playlists so i stand corrected yes i know that is probably making you all hurt that i am saying that he he did something halfway decent she's new uploading the subscription box and then watches that yeah and i i agree so so let's take that, let Flutter Dark, let's take that and, and roll with it, right? So um, am I saying that Phil is actually doing enough? No, no, he is, he's not doing enough. And why, why am I saying that? It's because if people are still giving him this objection of um, why do they not run in order, then apparently they aren't using playlists and he doesn't want, they don't want to use playlists, but they are telling him is, hey, we do want to see him in order. Okay, then you need to figure something else out, okay? Or you need to say, I'm sorry, this is the way it is. And move on with it. And if people start objecting, fine, they object. But you have to be okay with the objection. And you have to be okay with it up until the time that you aren't, and then you have to solve the problem, or you need to tell people to quit fucked. But... The reason, and to this day, people still don't know how to use playlists on YouTube. I... It baffles me. It's like, I've been using playlists since day one. Good for you. You're smarter than all ago. of us. Eat our ass. Always. I've had my stuff in playlists. I guess people are just so used to a mentality... <laughs> Snort. Where you don't do that, you just click on a new video that shows up in your feed, because a lot of YouTubers only put out, like, one video a day, if that, right? Yes, because we're normal. But for me, I've always done it that way. Morning, Darwinning123. Welcome to the chat. That way. Okay? And I hope that you guys, you know, understand why I do it that way, because I want things to be professional. I want things to be in order. So, the playlist, yes, I understand that you want to have those in order, and you want them to... Uh, hey, maybe he does want them to be professional. Good, good for him. Doesn't answer why you upload the way you do. Right? Um, and that's why we handle it that way. So I hope that you will continue to watch my videos in order. You know, no. don't think, oh, Phil's purposefully uploading them out of order. No, I'm not. I'm actually uploading them in order. YouTube publishes them at a random rate. Um, now, someone just said in chat, why don't you upload them one at a time? Do you have any concept, <laughs> any concept at all of how much annoying extra work that would be? And there it is. There it is. Do you have any idea how much extra work that would be? So, in other words, fuck you and your experience. I don't want to work. Instead of finishing a stream and queuing up five videos at once and walking away and letting them all go live, I only upload one, wait for that one to upload and publish, come back and manually start the next one, and wait for it to upload and publish. I would never get the videos on the, on the you know, the internet. You know, I don't, I don't sit in the office all day. Uh, I'm backing that up. To upload and publish. I would never get the videos on the, on the you know, the internet. 
You know, I don't, I don't sit in the office all day. And wait for it to upload and publish. I would never get the videos on the, on the you know, the internet. You know, I don't, I don't sit in the office all day. He doesn't. He doesn't up. He doesn't sit in the office all day. Oh. Darwin in one, two, three. So as an aside to my video calling out Phil, that's my first video, by the way, being able to do 25 push-ups. Tried yourself, could not. Began my fitness journey as a result. My fucking man. Get it. Fucking get it. This time next year, I want to hear that you've entered a powerlifting competition. Fucking A. Go get it. Dark Mage, indeed. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. He did his time. King Yama will let him go and see King Kai on Snake Way. Ah. <sighs> Man, that sucks that he's gone. That's just not fair. Uh, in reality, that's how it used to be. Back in the day, way back in the day, you're talking over 10 years ago, you had to manually upload each video like that, and that would take sometimes days to get videos up. Like when a game first came out, and I was playing a ton of gameplay within like two days, Wait. sometimes it would take three, four days to get the playthrough up because you have to manually keep doing video, video, video. It was really annoying. But in the early days, his videos were this way too. They, 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 they fucking do the whole... You know, one, five, twelve, four, three, two. So what? He did that intentionally? Corez used to deadlift six hundred and leg press a thousand. Now I'm old and flabby. Oh, wish Phil would box me. So um, I can't call my deadlift numbers exactly. Uh, if I call them, you would you could actually look up uh, results from around the Midwest. Uh, learn the little bit too tight of the region that I live in, and I'm not for that. But I will say it's uh, plus five hundred. On my deadlift right now, squat, I actually just broke 400. Uh, bench is um, so unconfirmed. So, this is what I do at my home. Uh, my unconfirmed is 320. And unfortunately, my bench at competition was under that mark, um, which I was very upset about. But, you know, oh well. No, like 600 was two, was like two or three reps. Damn. That's some fucking back strength, my dude. Um, Now that you can queue everything up at once, it's better. Now, you might also say, well, why don't you schedule all your videos out? Because I could do that. I could make it so that, like, today with Baldur's Gate 3, the first video that should go live is the podcast. Then an hour later, part, I don't know, 103 of Baldur's Gate 3. Then an hour later, part 104 of Baldur's Gate 3. Then an hour later, part 105. I could do that. Yes, you could. If that's what people really want. They do. They've told you they do. What? But the thing is, that's limiting the time frame in which you can watch the videos. A lot of people just want to see a video right away. As that is such that is such a fucking cop out. That is that is bullshit. As soon as it's available. Like for example, what if today with Baldur's Gate three, all you care about is a certain mission, and you're looking for that mission. So then you wait an hour. Like I honest. So I have this thing where I want instant feedback. I really do. I have a. I have a. Like I say, generalized anxiety disorder, and I have a thing with wanting to be accepted. Okay. Yeah, I know. We're having philo philosophy, or not philosophy, psychology time Phil here right now, or so psychology styled bro side Phil here. That's a thing that I have. But I also enabled memberships. And one of the things that I said in my memberships is that they will get access to videos before everybody else, and I will publish them out at 10 a.m. Some days I feel like, like, I, I was on like, what, an 11 day break. I uploaded nothing. I could only do shit with my community tabs and my Twitter X account. That was killing me because I actually saw, and I know I just, I defined myself off terrible things. I saw some subscribers like unsubscribing. I was like, oh no. So when I made this last video that is coming out in an hour and a half my time, well, everybody's time, but 10 a.m. my time, I originally thought maybe I should just publish this one, you know, because I really, I really want, you know, that instant gratification. I want that instant feedback. Of that, no, that's that's just the way it is. I have to, you 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 just have to be patient. So these people, oh, I want to see this one mission. They can wait two hours. Shut the fuck up. They can wait two hours. Let them wait. It's gonna be okay. If all three videos went live at the same time, oh, here's the one I wanted. Click on the one, watch that video immediately. Or else, what if it was the third video in order? Then you'd have to wait three four hours for the video to show up because I scheduled them out separately to show up in order, right? It oh, hold on real quick, gotta. Fat now though. Six six. I'm six. Uh, six two. My dude. 
His Gowdy body is 240 tops. I think Phil is, he says he's in the 190, 210 range. I think he's more in the 220, 230, especially with his moves. Um, but Phil, you can schedule the videos to release in the span of a minute between each other. It fixes the upload order issues and gives viewers what they want, according to you. Flutter Dark? Now, we've talked about this. You're using logic in my chat. We can't have that. Using logic with DSP. You fucking detractor. I can't believe you. No. Yeah, he won't He won't be doing that. Uh, backstabbing ex-girlfriend was like 190. We did this trick where I would hoist her up over my head. WWE style. <laughs> that sounds like fun. 35% uh, body fat. I think he's greater than that, to be quite honest. Uh, this, his bone structure has to be just fucking terrible. The thing is, there's pros and cons to anything, correct? <laughs> Overall, I haven't gotten a lot of complaints about this. Every once in a while, I get a... I haven't gotten a lot of complaints about this, but let me go ahead and talk to you about how I've gotten complaints about this. Complain about old video order or whatever. Um, if YouTube would just process everything and throw it out there right away, it wouldn't even be an issue. But it seems like now we're having this issue, and I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know, you know, what if it's going to really affect us moving forward or if it's just a one-off thing that happened yesterday. Affect I guess us. we'll see again today. It's going to be really annoying, you know, when we're in the midst of new releases. We, uh, I would e haunt this, this pig roach. So, uh, you know, the, the classic male power fantasy of the whole, oh, if somebody broke into my house, you know, what would I do? And I thought, you know, every guy has that one. Uh, not really power fantasy, but, you know, the what-if scenario. My what-if scenario that has kind of taken precedence is, because I travel, uh, is what happens if I was up in Washington, in Renton, and I came across DSP in a bar? What would I do? You know, would I just out-and-out out deck him? Would I sit down and have a conversation with him? Would I live stream the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, what, what would I do? <laughs> And e Hondaing him has not crossed my mind. I just, I was thinking more, uh, uh, sure you can. <laughs> Nocturnal, I don't think I've seen you in the chat before. Welcome, my dude, welcome. Especially if we get to games where, you know, a lot more people are excited for them, and people want the next part right away, and then, oh, I had to upload the part three times before YouTube would process it and put it on the site, Steve right? Like, I don't know if I've seen I guess you we'll see. Well, I feel like every time that YouTube makes progress, somehow down the line they screw it up and go right back to how they were. And this kind of stuff, this processing issue, used to happen all the time on YouTube. And YouTube yeah, would then know, Jared, put out these really bogus recommendations. Oh, uh, use a different encoder. Uh, use this codec instead of that codec. None of it affected anything. They just made bullshit up because it was all always on their end, but they would always give you excuses as to why it happened to make put the blame on the uploader, right? Like, like, oh, it's the uploader's fault that the video you've always uploaded and never had an issue on YouTube now won't process on YouTube. So, like, again, working in tech, right, uh, I I don't, and I can't code, but I have enough background in tech that and, and, and uh, UX and UI, so user interface and user experience, that um, I test a lot for my company. Uh, they, they put out a product, I test, and I, I'll ask things like this, you know, why can't we do this? Why can't we do that? Why can't we do this? Why can't we do that? And sometimes, yeah, I'll get a bullshit answer. I'll get a bullshit answer of, you know, oh, we can't do that because, uh, ooh, ee, ah. Uh. And I personally think, okay, it's because you guys don't want to code that. You guys are working on some other project. Or hell, maybe you guys are just lazy. But here's the thing. I never tell them, oh, that they're lazy or that they're doing this intentionally or that they're being pieces of shit or they're this or they're that. Why? Because I can't code. I don't have the skill set, so I'm not going to chastise the people that do. Phil, on the other hand. Sure, it's totally not on your end, right, Google? That's how they are. Again, YouTube never admits fault. Never says yeah, it could be did something wrong. Um. It's always on you to figure out what's going wrong and try to fix it yourself because they will never, Bay ever, man gaming. ever admit what's like up, they man? screwed something up. I mean, even when they outright did and then they fix it behind the scenes. Oh, no. They still won't admit Don't that they it. screwed it Don't up to begin it. with. Don't do it. Don't you do <laughs> never. it. Never. Don't you bring it up. Don't you bring it up, you son of a bitch. Don't you bring it up. Anyway, so just a heads up. I oh, hope this doesn't okay. affect today's videos. Wow. I hope this doesn't affect videos moving forward. Hopefully, it was just a one-off thing. Um, But fingers crossed. You know, everything goes smoothly today, and we don't have videos stuck in processing endlessly, and now all the videos upload in weird order today. Okay, that's number one. Number two. Trying to write code and pages of code in JavaScript. Yeah, I don't think One Minute Man will be donating to Filbert. One Minute Man has a girlfriend that worked at Rooster Teeth. And he was... Oh, was he? He was the... I did not know that. Here's another weird thing going on, all right? Um, 
So we've noticed this over the past couple of weeks. As you know, I have three channels. This is DSP Gaming, the channel that I'm on the most. This is where all the gameplay goes and the daily podcast. Okay. Then there's the React channel where I do the DSP versus the internet clip show once a week. And every once in a while, I'll upload like a review or, you know, a food video or maybe a tier maker or something true. like that. And now we have the <laughs> new throwback guys. channel where daily there's a new part of either Red Dead Redemption or Final Fantasy 13. And now once a week, I'm doing the retro react streams of Heavy Rain. Necroverse, are you talking about the first helicopter? Like, uh, uh... Maybe five or ten minutes after you fucking like enter the game, because that one that one was kind of a pain in my ass. But I I can't remember what the actual first boss is. But fucking enjoy, uh, because that thing bent me over a fucking barrel and took me to town for hours. Now all these channels are are going smoothly, except there's a weird thing going on on the React channel only. Okay, on the React channel only, if you super chat. During a live stream, people can like the Super Chat, meaning you can thumb it up, and you can actually see it actively on the screen. People are thumbing up a Super Chat. And There's... Can you thumb it down? Because that would just be awesome. It's an interesting feature. I'm not sure what it's for. I don't think it actually adds anything to the, to the, the stream, but it's nice to have that feature. It's a different feature. Only? It adds a, a new level of interactivity. If people <laughs> contribute, right? Sorry, I had to then you say, oh, this them. is neat. Let's go ahead and, and, and uh, like it, right? Cool. But there's a weird thing about that. It's only on the React channel. I don't have it on DSP Gaming. I don't have it on the DSP Throwback channel. When I got it on the React Is the React channel the one that got fucking member bombed? Because it sounds like that's a side effect there, bud. Channel. I got no notification that I got it or that it existed. I'm just kind of scratching my head. Where did it come from? <laughs> and why do I have it? And what's its purpose? And why is it only on one of my three channels? I don't know. Armored Core 6 million. Oh. Oh. A lot of interesting numbers there. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna get fucking kicked off YouTube. Oh, god damn it, I went back. I fucking hate it when I do that. Stream chat, and I see at the bottom, there's an option for, uh, I believe that's emotes. It is. There's an emotes button, okay? Right next to the emotes button, there's a button that has, a, like, a picture of a dollar, and that's supposed to be contribute to the stream. And then there's a plus button on the right-hand side, and that's supposed to be start a poll. Okay, that's the options I have. Two days ago, oh, shit, I didn't have shit, the option shit. for emotes. It was gone. That reminds me. It was just removed. I'm trying there was no way for me to use an emote unless I knew the manual command to type it in the chat. I couldn't use emotes in my own chat from my channel dashboard. Where did it go? I don't know. I refreshed. I logged it. Still. Okay, so if I'm going here for letting him go for a hot minute, that is because I am trying to find how to gift out the 10 memberships that I'm, I supposedly have to give. And I am, again, failing at life uh, because I cannot fucking figure it out. Fan funding. Yeah, I, okay, I didn't, no, that's not what I meant. I, give, me, give me the live chat. Thank you for the live chat. Six million Argentinio Peso men. Yes. Participants... Yes. Moderation activity, timestamps, pop out chat. Okay. <sighs> this is so not fair. I want to give you guys fucking memberships that are in here and I can I still cannot figure this shit out. But oh well. Feral gaming, good. Glad that you're here. Let's keep it going. Gone. YouTube had coded it out. Here we are back today. It's back. Now yesterday I was broadcasting on DSP throwback. Oots. Okay. <laughs> When I'm logged into my dashboard gesture. on the DSP throwback channel, which I'm trying to look at right now, everything seems the same. However, if I set up a live stream, this is so funny. I set up a live stream. I'm just going to set up like a demo stream. Demo. Mm hmm. And I'm going to... It's just going to be a demo stream. It's not a real stream. So I'm going to set it to... No, no ads. People. Professional here. You know, live chat, yes. Jesus fucking Christ. He's got to click through a couple quick things here. See, this is why I try not to do stuff where... And make it unlisted because it's air. not a real stream. Because okay. this fucking Done. kills me. So now... It opens up. Okay? And now... I'm on the dashboard... Oh, this is supposed to be the same exact screen that I'm in for a stream on DSP Gaming, okay? It's supposed to be exactly the same screen. I'm staring at it right now, 
on this one, there is no emojis button. There's a happy face. There's a happy and I click face. on the happy face, happy then it opens face. the emojis menu. But it's different than what is on my dashboard on DSP Gaming. On DSP Gaming, it's like a weird white symbol that doesn't look like anything. On this one, it's a happy face. On this one, there's a button that says show your support for DSP throwback. There's no dollar sign on it. It's blank. I figured it out. I fucking figured it out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's fucking go. Let's see who gets them. Let's see who fucking gets them. You guys can watch this video, the video that's out now if you want. That's fucking right. Let's fucking go. I did 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. Oh, then you guys get to go through all five, them, through ten no of these. You can see it because I can't aim the camera. So my bad. We're gonna get to do ten of these. <laughs> it's a blank button. Okay. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Those are my ten. I also, I finally so when I'm logged it into the DSP them, throwback like, channel, no I also see it well, I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But and yes, all of you guys will be part of the Gem Rat Tractor Squad on the next next video. Even I did 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. And when I can do these, I, I will give these out them, every month. I just no didn't realize. I, can't I didn't know how to. to look over there. But so let's see. So that was, I think, the third one. I did 25 There's the fourth one. On Leo, congrats. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But I think that's four. I'm just going to let him go for, for a minute. hope you all don't mind. I 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did Who do doesn't them, know Johnny Bravo? There's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But Johnny Bravo is like the role model of every gym bro. Except, you know, he doesn't get bitches. <laughs> yep. There's the five, and I think we're going to have five more come through. Oh, Dark Mage, I'm sorry. It's random, I promise. I love you. On my floor. I, actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But oh, now I feel bad. I did 25 real push-ups <laughs> on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do see, this. Them, is, this is that. There's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. This is but, that whole I want everybody to be included in my th shit thing that I hate. Because if I'm sorry. I did 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But uh, we got two more. We got Vic Blatz and Philosophum. 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 I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But he actually did do them, if you didn't know, guys. But I did 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But yeah, Dark Mage, uh, like, a, oh, yeah, so that's another thing. Um, I can't tell you guys when again because too close to you know too close to home. But very soon I will no longer be a young man. I will be I will officially be old balls. Uh, so I've said it multiple times. I'm currently 39. Um, I will soon no longer be a young man. So I have the option to do one of those symbols: either the heart, the happy face, the big horn, or the 100. You know, it's, the I forget what they're called, but there's always horn. it pops up on the stream like it looks like a like a. Uh, Instagram feed or whatever it is, um, or a Snapchat feed or whatever it is. That's you know people are doing it right now in the chat. I can see the symbols popping up. So oh. I have that only on DSP Throwback. When I'm looking at the same exact screen on D on DSP Gaming, it's not there. So I'm literally on the same screen on two different YouTube accounts, and the screens are completely different. Oh my god! There's no consistency at all between even having two YouTube channels. What is going on with YouTube that they code things so differently and then one person has one thing, one person has another thing. It's called variables, you dumb fuck. You have different membership levels. Thing. One person has a feature to like a, a super chat, another person doesn't have it. Right? It doesn't even make any sense. This website is so inconsistent and flaky and every day it changes. And it drives me nuts that they do it like that. Because as a creator, what I'd love to do is explain new exciting things to you guys, right? Like, what I, oh guys, guess what? There's a new feature on YouTube where... Hold on, delete forever, okay? Delete forever. I'm deleting that fake uh, stream now. <laughs> it claims it's doing it. <laughs> I wish I could delete Phil forever. Okay, anyway. um, No, so yeah, like, I would love to say, hey guys, there's a new feature. Let's check it out, right? Let's use it all together. Let's do this. Hey guys, here's how you do this on a stream. What you gotta do is click here, click here. The stuff this time, when I'm telling you guys this stuff, it doesn't even exist. Because what I see and what you see is different. What I see on my various different YouTube channels is different. Why is it all different? It doesn't make sense. 
go to Why can't they have any consistency? Delete site is ridiculous. forever. Do you know what I mean? Yes. One day, you can upload videos, no problem. The next day, nothing will process. Today, everyone liked my super chats. Today, oh, you can't do that anymore. They took it away. All right, everyone, click on the green dollar, dollar bill button. Wait, what's that? It's not on my screen. Oh, sorry. I guess it's not for some people, but it's there for others. Like... So how did this man get, like, how does he wrap his head around things like, I don't know, Windows, where one day everything will work fine, and then the next day, all of a sudden, you get the blue screen of death, okay? So, like, what, is Windows, or is Microsoft not professional? So I can't really explain stuff to you guys, right? I apologize for that. It is frustrating that I can't, because I wish that... You know, I, they, YouTube would be more professional about it. They're just professional. not. Professional. At the end of the day, YouTube is bad at business. Oh. You know? Bro. Bro. Hold on. Just, just, just hold the fuck on. Yep. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. We're going to make this happen. Uh huh. Hold on. Life head properties. Upper. Uh... Yeah. YouTube is bad at business. Thirty-one point five billion dollars. There, but YouTube is bad at business. YouTube is bad at business. Uh you can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. Oh, there, there are like a bunch of techies who all went to like Ivy League schools. I've heard this arc before. I've heard this exact arc before. So they're all great at coming up with like like ideas, and they're all great with like coding, but they're not good actual people of implementation. And what I mean by that? Shut the fuck up. That is like, um, okay, they're book smart, but they're not street smart. And you are, dude, you don't, you don't even see your street but once a week. Okay? They can study as much as they want and they have all the knowledge in their head. But when it comes to applying that to the real world, to people who are using their stuff every day, they fail. Okay, so before I dunk on him too hard, that this criticism is, there is a, there's a level of validity to the criticism, right? Um, where where my what our company programs what they what they make for uh what they make primarily there's there's multiple applications for but primarily it deals with military and law enforcement okay and if you don't know most grunts are and most entry level officers for law enforcement are they're knuckle draggers right they they're willing to go do dangerous shit they're willing to kick in doors they're willing to enact violence when necessary but they're they're knuckle draggers, and they think like cops, or they think like grunts, or they think like infantry, so or special forces, whatever. And they don't think like programmers. And so there is a level of disconnect between what a programmer will likely code versus how an end user will actually use it. But this is in a specialized field, so that I that we're talking about uh, with my company. YouTube is just YouTube, like. Yeah, techies are going to have a different way of thinking about things, but they're still people, you dumb fuck. That's why they go out there and they launch a new feature and it just doesn't work. It craps out, it, then they have to fix it on the fly. And the question is, why did you launch the feature if it didn't work? How did you not know it didn't work? Exactly. Did you use it or test it yourself? Exactly. Are we all the endless beta testers for YouTube? Or did they do? They did test it, but they're just so ignorant of how the site really works, they don't even understand it, right? They're ignorant of how the site... They're ignorant of how the site works. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, that that's me anyway. That's, you know, this kind of drives me nuts because, again, as a business person, how can I operate a business without consistency? And I'm not making these issues. It's YouTube every day. You know, anyway, and yeah, so that's just a few things. And maybe YouTube's not making money and they're 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 a byproduct of Alphabet or whatever the Google fucking subsidiary is and, and they're making it up or, or whatever. But I mean, they're not they're not dumb. They, I mean, yeah, they are dumb in many ways. Like uh, Susan back in the day was dumb, but um, 
the guys who are actually writing the code and implementing, they're doing what bosses tell them to do. Their bosses are t being told to do shit from their bosses, so on and so forth, man. It's a fucking bureaucracy. They're doing their job. Shut up and leave them alone. To talk about today, nothing super important, but I thought it'd be a good variety discussion for the show. Um, I'm hoping that there will not be sometimes people do the weird videos. shit the no best, one would okay? expect. See many so speed let's run glitches. The schedule. This will yes. not be a long segment today. Um, oh boy, we're talking about the schedule again. Oh, by the way, so yesterday was React Day, right? Both shows, DSP versus the Internet and the Retro React of Heavy Rain, were really good. Right, Jasper? Right, buddy? I hate the way he talks to his cat. I guess he didn't watch them. Um, They're both really good, okay? If you are subscribed to either channel, you can watch the archives of either stream right now. Awesome. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, the individual parts will be going live over the course of the week. So I hope that you'll check those out as well daily on each respective channel. I do want to say thank you to those who attended the streams because they, each one did have good support, which helps those channels out because those channels don't yeah. make a lot of ad revenue. But it's yeah. the Feral Gaming, you're exactly right. The only way that they don't know what so they're doing is that, that the front and back end channels. aren't talking to each other. Thank you, yes. Jasper, for being a cute kitty. <laughs> when he talks to that pigmatized that he goes, upper body goes V arrow. Okay, now I got to look at it because I don't. For the show, um, I'm hoping that there will not be consistency. And I'm not making these issues. It's YouTube every day. You know. Anyway, so that's just a few things to talk about today. Nothing super important, but I thought it'd be a good variety to discuss. Okay. So let's briefly discuss the schedule. This will not be a long segment today. Um, oh, by the way, so yesterday was React Day, right? Come Both on. shows, DSP versus the Internet and the Here Retro React of Heavy Rain, were really good. Right, Jasper? Goes upper bod... Goes... His upper body goes V arrow. Kind of like T... Oh my god, it does. He puts his arms out like a V arrow, almost like it's a T po and he does that all the time. I, now that you mention it, I, I absolutely see. I'm not going to be able to unsee that. You just fucking cursed my brain. Give me your membership back. Right, buddy? <laughs> I guess he didn't watch them. Um, They're both really good, okay? If you are subscribed to either channel... You I, yeah, that, that's basically the end of that video. Let's let's find another one. Um, so I was planning to go like all the way up until, by the way, like 9-something, 9 9.50, 5.55 and pop out. However, uh, when I got out of bed at 7.03 this morning, for those that don't know, I, I was here late and I apologize, or got here late and I apologized for that. Uh, I haven't even fucking showered yet, so I am actually doing this stream in less clothing and less pajamas than Phil. I am just sitting down in some boxer shorts right now doing this thing. Yes, I know that's a mental image y'all wanted. So, let's find something else to watch here right quick. <laughs> uh, victim cope segment sucks and can't do anything right. Oh, that sounds fun. So, uh, let's see. So, we got dis the victim cope segment. segment. I think we're definitely going to do that. Um, view botting, it's like, eh, I don't know if we'll, we'll touch on that one. He was... EDP was what? Okay, that'll be after this one. EDP was framed? Uh, uh, let, let's, let's do the victim cope segment and then we'll... Well, let me tell you something! EDP was framed? Did he, did EDP do something else? Did he like, was he like pop for shoplifting and somebody like stuck something in his pocket or something? Because that's the only thing I could imagine him being framed on. Brother! Expand Dong says, what is the happy medium between you doing side stuff in Final Fantasy VII versus skipping it? Even big stuff like the Deku Tree and Zelda, people scolded you for both. Oh Isn't God. it contradictory? Yes. Expand Dong, you have to understand something. You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't when you're DSP. No, you're just fucking damned, dude. That's just the way of life around here for me, and I've gotten used to it. All right? I'm going to give you some examples, Okay. <clears throat> So, DSP, the quality of all your gameplay sucks. Yes. You still use a camera pointed at the TV. Yes. You got to go modern. You got to capture. You got to yes. jump in and live stream. Okay, yes. I'll do that. DSP, the quality of your gameplay sucks. You don't put enough time and dedication into your playthroughs. You rush through them. You don't do side content. You got to take more time to play the games rather than rushing through them. Okay, I'll start doing that. DSP, your gameplay sucks. Your commentary is too immature. Your commentary is all about sex and, you know, race and all. All of this stuff is... All this stuff that's so okay. cringe risque for teens. You got to grow up. Everyone on YouTube's changing for the better. Okay, I'll change that. DSP, your gameplay sucks. Yes. Your videos are of the wrong length. You have to increase the length of your video. Or maybe you have to shorten the length of your video. No one can agree. But it doesn't matter 
Your gameplay still sucks. Change it. DSP, your thumbnails suck. You auto-select thumbnails off of YouTube. Why do you do that? Wait, now you're actually generating thumbnails? Well, those thumbnails are way too generic. You need to make better thumbnails than that. None of these are damned if you don't, damned if you do scenarios. I thought it was. I thought we were going to see here something like DSP. Your content sucks. You're you're pointing a camera at the TV. You need to go back to motion capture. That's a okay. Damned if you don't. Okay, that's a damned if you don't. If you don't switch to motion capture, we hate you. Then he switches to motion capture. Damned if you do would be DSP. Your content sucks. We liked it better when you were using your camera. That's a damned if you do. Damned if you don't. This is just critique, you dumb fuck. DSP, your titling sucks. Your titling on your videos has to be better. You can't just have a number. Oh, wait, now you've started adding actual descriptors to your videos to say what's in the video? That's not good enough either. Don't you know you're supposed to have clickbait on every single title of every video? And that clickbait has to be the first thing you read when you see the video so people can see it? Okay? All right, let's continue. DSP, your streams suck. Yep. They do. You ignore your chat. You yep. don't talk to anyone. What's up with that? What's the point of streaming? What's fan service? I never heard of it. Oh, wait. Now you're actually interacting with your chat? Well, that's that sucks. You talk with your chat too much, and now we've lost the appeal of your videos where you're just focused on the game. No, 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 no. You don't chat with your... You don't talk with your chat too much. You, you chastise your chat too much. You tell them that they can't have conversations outside of talking with, with, with you. If this chat went full fucking psycho right now and just started going and talking about, I don't fucking know, um, Boogie, and you guys were just going ape shit about how Boogie is the doing this crazy shit, yeah, da 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 da. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be like, wait, 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 wait. Bo what, what's what's Boogie do doing? Do you have a link? Can we watch this together? Can we do it? I don't give a shit that the stream is. Okay, I had I had a general idea. Hey, I wanna I wanna watch the Snort you know, you know Snort Hogan shit, you know. But if you guys went ape shit for some fucking topic and it was like, yeah, let's let's we should we should do this or we should watch that. Fuck, man, let, let's go watch that. You know, that's not what Phil does. Phil says, I can't believe you're not fucking talking to me about my game. Why are you talking about other shit? Oh my god, you're talking about being depressed. Get the fuck out of here. You're too distracted by your chat now. <laughs> I can keep going. All right. Let's, I mean, literally... Remember the Spongebob episode where Spongebob was throwing out his party? That's Phil's streams. Really, these are all things over the last 10 to 15 years that people have said. I directly listened to criticism. I changed for supposedly the better just for people to come back and tell me you're still doing it wrong. You are. Okay? So, <clears throat> perfect example. I'm not doing the State of the Union. I can't do that. I will go insane. Zelda, here's the key. <laughs> I start playing the game, and immediately I tell you guys, wow, a lot of the side content doesn't seem very interesting or meaningful to me. I'm going to skip it, and I'm going to do the things that only seem meaningful or the things that lead to story. Okay, so that's not a damned if you do, damned if you don't. That is, again, you have elected to do something. You've elected to. Okay. My playthrough is still very lengthy. I still easily get through and beat the game, and people tell me, oh, your playthrough sucked because you skipped all the side content. That's a, that's a damned if you don't because you didn't do the side content. People are angry at you. This is the dichot the, 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 the a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation is either decision is bad, not the easy decision is bad and the hard decision is good. Wow, what a horrible playthrough you did, right? So now I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Wow, I'm really enjoying this side content. I think the pacing is well done. You do a big story beat that's like five, six hours. Then you get to an open world segment. You do side content for five, six hours. And the alternation formula will probably work really well. I'm really enjoying this. Let me go ahead and do all the side content. Real quick, I have to bring this up. Line caught, I believe uh, today may be your one month anniversary because you are showing uh, the only other piggy in uh, a different color. You know, this is, this is... Uh, Line cut second month, I think. Oh, Phil, you're doing it wrong. Don't you know that's boring to your audience? Why are you doing the side content? You should be skipping it all and just going right to the story. We're tired. We want story. It's like, what? And that's the problem with me, all right? That's my. That's exactly what I've been going through as a creator. Anyone else who does something in, in a way, it all works. It's fine. It's good. We're grateful that they make content. It's free content. It's fun content. They put hard work in. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Best YouTuber ever. Here's a community of supporters. For DSP, it's no matter what you do, it's never good enough. You're the laughing stock of the internet. Make fun. Whip this man. Bully him. Ruin his business. Ruin his life. Harass his family members. That's all.
Yes, because you are that horrible of a person. All perfectly fine just because he's DSP. No, 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 no. It's not just because you're DSP. It's because of who you are, what your behavior is, how you act, how you externalize your fucking insecurities, how you think your your shit doesn't stink, how you don't self-reflect, how you don't think you're the problem, how you think you are doing everything right. That's why you're not only getting this this hate or this feedback, but you... You deserve it. And even when he actively does everything that you are asking for to change for the better, still say it's not good enough. That's my life. I wish that was a gross exaggeration. It's literally not. That is my life. And I've just come to the point where I've accepted it. That it doesn't... You know, there's a, there's a way to accept it. I think on the internet it's called becoming unhero. It doesn't matter what I do to improve. People are still going to hate me for no reason. So I don't care. I'm going to improve for me and for the audience that's actually here. Okay, and then I'm going to move forward positively. I'm not going to listen when people say he can't. He, I just realized that he can't. He can't fucking read the, either of those books that I talked about. His head, he he would not be able to process it. Or or even better is the the one guy I was talking about David Goggins, the guy who had like the shittiest of shitty lives growing up. I I firmly believe he'd walk up to Goggins and be like, "Man, we have so much in common." dumb shit like don't do the side content of final fantasy 7 if you tell me not to do the side content of final Correct. fantasy 7 i'm gonna say God don't watch it. an rpg playthrough you idiot because that's what an rpg is it's a role-playing game you're pretending that you're a person in the game running around doing content that's the point of the game if you skip all the content in a role-playing game you might as well not play a role-playing game okay but it's okay to skip the content in a role-playing game but it's not okay to skip no it's not okay to skip the content side content in a role-playing game but it is okay to skip the side contact content in Tears of the Kingdom because I, I got nothing. Oh, this one JP guy. I don't think I've seen you in chat before. Welcome. This one JP guy, I told these people that they should like me and they don't. Some people are impossible to please, dude. Now you might say, well, then why did you skip the content of Zelda? Because that content sucked. In my opinion, the content was boring. If I could have skipped all of in that his content opinion, and in easily. In his opinion, in his opinion, in his opinion. It's, it's just like me for real, for real. Beeline through the game and had fun with it still. Joshua, that content good morning. Was meaningless. Welcome to the That chat. content was padding, right? So there you have it. With Final Fantasy VII, I'm actually having fun with the side content. Boy. That's a lot different. So let's keep doing it, right? And the other thing that I... Dude, Vegeta's character arc is like... So much better overall. Like I, Vegeta as a villain is a better person than Phil. Like, just straight up. And again, R.I.P. Akira Toriyama. That just still fucking sucks, because Vegeta is my... Vegeta is my spirit animal. ...feel that people don't get is that when I'm playing a game and I'm doing this kind of commentary, it's my opinion. You don't have to agree. You don't. You can completely disagree. Maybe you think the side content in Tears of the Kingdom was, like, the best side content out there. And, therefore, that's why you were upset that I skipped it. You have the ability to think that? That's fine. Ah, oh, Phil confused Vegeta with the... Wait... Wait, 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 this is, this is commentary, this actually happened, or this is like hyperbolic as a joke, because no one could confuse fucking Vegeta with Raditz. Fine. I'm not going to sit here and say that's invalid. People like different things, different strokes for different folks. For me, I relayed intelligently why I didn't like the content. Oh I felt like it God. was padding. I felt like the game was bloated. They put too much side content in. Bloated. That's right. So bloated is bloated. Yeah, two syllables. But... DSP, bloated. That's that's three syllables. Uh, if you guys watch King Jad, he actually stopped it. I was watching King Jad um, a while back, and it was on the on the Elden Ring thing. Which, by the way, the new video is on Elden Ring. Yes, I know that's that's old content, but uh, it's uh, it'll be out in fifty six minutes for non members. Um, I'll have to be off the off the line when it goes live, so you'll have have me to talk to you afterwards. But he's going through describing it and. King Jad paused it and had to go back over it three times. Phil made the word boss like three fucking syllables. A boss. It was like, what the fuck was that? It's it, it was fantastic. And so, so much that it just takes up your time and isn't meaningful and I didn't care to... DSP a bargain bin fella. Yep. You're all just jelly he got Bulma for real for... Goddamn right. He Not only is she fine, she's a multi-bajillionaire. Oh my god, that's savage. Feral. That is fucking savage. 
<laughs> Phyllis Yamcha. Oh my god. To do it. And I still enjoyed the game overall. I still really liked Tears of the Kingdom, right? I think, wasn't it in my Game of the Year countdown? So obviously, it I also, like it. It but also pisses today, me off when he sadly, talks about that. Are just JP. so black and white mentality. Like, I hate to say it, it's almost. So black. He's, he's black and white. He's black and white. A simpleton's way of thinking. Either you like something or you hate it. No, that's not real life. You do that. In real life, it's not black and white, good and evil, like dislike. You do right? that. Here's you say, you say, you say to people, uh, "Don't come on my streams and, I'll, and 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 support," and then and then say, and then and then afterwards be like, "Oh, he fucked up here." You have to, you know, don't come on my stream and pretend to be my friend and then criticize me afterwards, dude. That's black and white. That's all or nothing. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, dude, eighteen over Bulma all day, every day, all day, every day. 18 over Bulma. Many layers between of moderation, as they say, shades of gray. That's where the reality of life actually is. Just because I played Tears of the Kingdom and I didn't like an aspect of it doesn't mean it's a bad game. And yeah, Flutter Dark, Yamcha is better than Phil, but in the grand scheme of like the lore and the memes that are DBZ, Yamcha is like, he's the token whipping boy. And that's why if you had, if I had to put, no, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, uh, the side character. Shit, I have to look this up. Oh, dear. Pui Poir is the cat. What's his... Oolong! Phil is Oolong. That's who Phil is. Right? Just because I'm playing Final Fantasy VII and I'm loving it doesn't mean it's going to be my game of the year either. You know? But people don't get that. They literally just sit there thinking either you like it or you don't. So because Phil said that some of the side content of the Tears of the Kingdom was no good, right? That means the game sucks. No! Wait, wait, wait. What is a what's a leak spin SWF commercial? I don't know what the fuck that is. No, because Phil chose to skip the side content of Tears of the Kingdom, but now he's doing it in Final Fantasy VII. That makes him a hypocrite. No, it doesn't. But you have to be intelligent and mature to understand that. And sadly, oh a lot God. of people on the internet are not. They really have this childlike understanding of how things work on the planet, and that's not how the planet really works. I hate it when he starts talking like this. Okay. Um, dude, you don't understand, Dark Mage. Cora has to just beat us all to the punch, you know, because there's Popo's pecking order. Continuing on here. So anyway, yeah, in summary, I don't believe, no matter what I do, no matter how I do it, he there's always, always going to be shut this up about consensus maturity. that feels yes. sucks. You know, yes. look at how much I've improved. Look at how much I've... You haven't improved, you dumb shit. ...worked hard to improve my... You haven't worked hard. ...content over the last two years. Oh my God, Everything has improved. Chin. The quality of the, the video itself, the gameplay. <laughs> Legend of Fupa. What's up, man? This dude was... Fucking cutting me up the other day. Well, I say the other day. Last time I streamed. The quality of the visuals of the webcam and the setup. Thumbnails. Titling. Everything. And then what's the next thing? What's the next thing? Oh, it's still not good enough. Yeah. You still got to change more. You still got to change more. You still got to change more. What? What's What's the overarching, like, what's the common denominator here, Phil? Is it that you suck? Because you... Fuck, I got to screen grab that face. That's, uh... <laughs> that's... That's pretty good. It, listen, at what point do you say, okay, maybe it's not the fact of Phil... But it's the fact that there's such a mentality against Phil that he just sucks that that's what the reason why people think he sucks. Did he just victim... Did he... Okay, so... He went... He skipped the self-awareness arc of saying, you know... <laughs> he skips the self-awareness of... Maybe it's me. And literally just the... the was it the Principal Skinner from The Simpsons? Said, Could it be me? No. No, it's everybody else that thinks I'm terrible who's wrong. Not because they actually watch the content and don't like it. It's because they just don't watch the content. They just say he sucks, right? No, I watch your content and you're fucking terrible. Well, I don't watch your content. I watch Raw Phil and Snort Hogan, but... There you go. Okay, um, continuing on. Big Ocho with a $10 Super Chat says RPG equals role-playing game. Exactly. Why are you watching someone play a role-playing game if then you're going to complain that they're actually doing the content of the game that's intended to be done, <laughs> right? I just, that's bizarre to me. I tune into an RPG stream and I complain that they... Right, exactly, JP. If they're saying you, you just suck, why would they have these very specific suggestions? It's like, look, they don't even have a, a fucking reason for why they hate me. Actually, we have this reason, this reason, this reason, this reason, and this reason. Yeah, but those don't count. We're doing the content. Why weren't they skipping it all? Yikes. You can't make this shit up. Okay, now for the big one. Um, 
Oh, uh, damn. Okay, so he hasn't done Toriyama yet, so I will probably have to make a video about that one. But this one, uh, we're going to skip the view botting. We're obviously skipping review tech. And we got to see this. I've got to see this. You guys might know about it. I probably won't. I may not do the whole 20 minutes because I kind of want to see this. Would be popular if you wanted to, but we'll see. I'm probably going to sign out around the 9.30, 9.35 mark because, like I said, I got to get showered, shit, and shaved because uh, I really don't want to stink in front of my tax guy. Yes, again, that is not a joke. I'm going to see my tax guy at 10 this morning. So let's fucking go. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Feral, goddammit. Snort, snort. I got the drip. Just to give you another piece of perspective, can you imagine, right now, if while all this is going on and I'm so busy with everything, can you imagine if I had gone through with the documentary that I was talking about doing a couple months ago? Oh my god. I was supposed god. to start filming, like, right about now. So can you imagine... Why, why would you even have agreed to film then, if it's right... Don't... This dude... Doesn't he, like, look at the fucking and, like, complain constantly about how, oh, I can't believe there's this many games coming out, and then he was the one who scheduled... Never mind. Imagine me being in the middle of all these games that I'm already backlogged on, right? Working on these projects, the throwback channel, and now telling you guys, oh, by the way, now I can't stream. This week, you know, half, it's going to be a half week, Snort. entire days away, and stuff like that. Um, You know. So, I mean, I think, quite honestly... I dodged a big bullet there. And what I mean by that is not to say that working with a documentary with Mike Klum is a bullet, but a bullet. I don't think that, honestly, with the situation I'm in in my life, right, that I would have been able to handle that at all. It would have been overload. And again, as I've already right. reiterated previously, imagine if I was trying to do that. Now, the thing is, this is very important. You know, a documentary about me would have had to be done well. Uh, no, 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 no. For, and that's what makes him so, so, so super special boy. And I'm going to steal a, a term from Atlas the Bookkeeper. This is why he needs the ass pats. Uh, it's because the documentary about him would have to be done well. Documentary about anybody else could be half-assed. But about him, it has to be done well. And basically, imagine if I'm just like at my wit's end, stressed out, overworked, and now it's going to end up not being that good, right? Because, you know, it's, it's just as much... Mike Klum working on a documentary, as it is me, you know. You're going to be sitting down answering questions. What fucking stress is there, you dumb shit? I would be a major part of the input of this thing. The input? What input? What? I'm going to go talk to this person. No, you can't! Um, you're going to have to justify that reasoning. Now, how am I going to be creative? How am I going to be... Creative? Why do you need to be creative? You're going to be asked questions. That's a documentary. Why do you need to be creative? Entertaining. How am I going to be going around? You're not entertaining now! Around different filming locations and doing all this kind of stuff when I'm already exhausted to my way in, right? This man sits in a chair for 10 to 12 hours a day and is exhausted. I don't think it would have worked, being honest, especially my lifestyle with how much that I work and everything. Oh, his lifestyle. Imagine if, like, these weeks, I'm like, by the way, guys, three days this week I can't stream at all. The other three days, it's half days. <laughs> the underpig. Just because I'm, you know, filming. Oh my god, that's a wrestler. That is like, I mean, it's not an actual wrestler, but you could totally make that a wrestler. The underpig. Filming all over the place. Oh, by the way, I also have to work on my taxes this month. Oh, by the way, we're in the midst of 300-hour games that I'm never going to finish, and there's more coming that I have to skip all of them now because I'm working on a documentary, right? See, I think the, the, the difference here is when you look at someone who can work on a documentary, I'm going to be honest, it's probably someone who just has a lot of time, that they're not particularly doing something too important with their time, that they have time to do that shit. I wow. What? What a colossal piece of shit. Like, if you if you have a documentary done about you, you have a lot of time. I Didn't Mother Teresa have a documentary done about her? No, right? How many in your aneurysms of genome? Uh, thank you for the welcome back, and way too goddamn many. <laughs> That's... <laughs> like, I'm just... Constant everywhere I go is work, work. Got stuff going on here. Busy with my personal life. You know, I got shit going on. Yeah, I don't have time to just drop everything and just be filming, filming, filming. So, honestly, one JP guy, you are absolutely correct, and I, I know this because, like I said, I have mirrored or I have paralleled myself, and I have seen a lot of me in Phil. Um, if you would take back, I'd say now again, he's forty two, I'm thirty nine, so we're about the same, uh, about the same age. But if you go back a decade, maybe 15 years, I might have had these thoughts. I might have had these kind of mannerisms and stuff like that. And I would have thought that being entertaining, or if I was having a documentary done about me, that uh, it was my job to buddy-buddy up 
with the person who was doing the documentary. I absolutely would have. And that is exactly what Phil would have done. Uh, he's going to stress more that people realize how terrible he is and that they will avoid him. Become one of us or leave his streams and never return. One of us. One of us. Google couple. Google couple. I do think that I dodged a bullet there. And on top of that, people are saying, I guess, that Mike Klum is now working on a documentary with this guy EDP. Now, here's the thing. I know absolutely nothing about this guy. I've never followed him. I never watched his content. Okay. I don't, all I know is that he's infamously known on the internet that apparently he was caught out trying to meet with underage girls. Uh, that is correct. There's, he was not caught out. He was caught. Um, he tried to meet an underage girl on a sting and was caught. Okay. I, I'm, I already don't want to keep going, but let's keep going. Uh, CSAM is, just again, personal note, CSAM is a very touchy subject for me. I think that's what it is, right? I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But I think that that's the case, that like he was a YouTuber who was popular, and then at some point he got framed, essentially. Like people were, were catfishing. The YouTuber who was popular, and then at some point he got framed as a case that like he was a YouTuber who was popular, and then at some point he got framed essentially. Like people were were catfishing. Somebody give me context to this right fucking now. DSP doesn't know what frame. That had better be what that fucking is. Him so that he would show up to meet underage girls, and then come to find out it was just a frame job. Like, they, they, they totally set him up. Um. Okay. To expose him on the internet for who he really was, but apparently some people say, well, why uh, did he not go to jail? And apparently it's because, because the way that he was set up it's not admissible as evidence in court. I'm, I'm, I apologize for the dead air. That is not a frame job. That is a sting. Let's get that, let's get that clear. This is a sting job. Why did it not go to court? <clears throat> it is not because of how they did it would not be admissible in court. Uh, it would be if it was done um, in a... M there are so many checks that have to be done in a sting job. Uh, so many that are not in the civilian world, but it passes the civilian sniff test, right? A civilian sniff test is going to be if you say constantly over and over again, I'm for, or if you say I'm 14 early in a, in a conversation, right? Uh, you, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm, I'm sure I am, you have to establish your age multiple times across multiple days, across multiple methods, and always before and after sexual conversation, always before and after solicitation, always, and it's not like something that you can even bring up voluntarily, like it, or you can bring it up voluntarily, but you can't harp. There's so many rules about it and civilians aren't going to follow that. So it's not admissible in court. That is, that is correct. I don't, I don't really know how much, uh, yeah, let, you know, let's just keep going. Right. Like, like, technically, because they set him up like that, no crime was ever committed, so he never... Oh, nope, nope, nope. ...was nope. held accountable I, I for that behavior. Oh, uh, hmm. But apparently he got totally canceled on the internet. He fell apart. He got canceled. Part he went from being a YouTuber who had a prominent channel and everything to basically, like, you know, done. And... Hey, again, that's all I know from what I've heard, word of mouth. I've never watched a documentary. I haven't done research for myself. Well, you really should have fucking watched a documentary, and you really should have fucking learned it for yourself or researched it for yourself, because I now have a definitive answer to what I would do if I rolled up to Renton, Washington, and I found DSP in a bar. So that's all I know, okay? And can I be honest here? Because I will be honest with all of you, because people have been asking me about this for the past couple of days, Okay. First documentary Mike Klum does is on Boogie. The entire documentary 
is about Boogie basically being a miserable human being. The sad, dark life of Boogie, right? Well, who made Boogie's life sad and dark? <laughs> Was it... Unirage, welcome. You are a welcome uh, addition to the chat uh, today because, my God, we have, like, hit the fucking mother load of I don't even know how to comment on this shit. Was it a group of people who just decided to, you know, ruin his life? No, his his life is sad and dark because he is sad and dark. And when you watch that documentary, you see the things in it that, you know, he could improve, he could change for the better, and he just doesn't. He keeps engaging with trolls on social media. He keeps doing the awful life behaviors. He's a miserable wretch because of his own decisions and actions that don't change. We're talking about Phil or somebody else here. Correct. And Oleander, I think what's supposed to happen welcome. is, you watch it, you feel sorry for him, and it was supposed to turn his life around. Has it turned his life around? No, <laughs> not at all. He's on a lol cow podcast. He freaking... He's probably making more money than you, fucker. ...keeps doing this kind of almost degenerative content on the internet. He's not going to change. It's pretty obvious at this point, correct? <laughs> Nocturnal here a while back. I was in Spokane. I'm going to have to go back eventually. So then, you know, Mike Klum comes to me and says, I want to do a different kind of documentary with you. Oleander, I do want to. Um, however, uh, I have a, an appointment in about 40 minutes. Uh, so that's why my streams actually started at 7 a.m. Uh, I am going to cover Toriyama um, and his, because I have not seen how he talks about it or what he's done. Um, and then there's another thing that I have not covered that I definitely want to, and that is apparently him crying about losing, or him thinking about losing Cat and, and, and his cat. Cat and his cat. So. It would not be like Boogie's documentary. It would be very different, you know, covering your life and all the things that you've been through and basically your history as a content creator on the internet, the ups and downs. And yes, it's going to feature people who don't like you talking about you, right? But at the same time, you'll be able to clap back essentially and give your side of the story of everything going on and we'll be able to accurately recount what's happened to you and your business and your channels over the years and why so many people who literally don't know an actual fact about you We don't know a fact about you. My dude, I judge everything... My, my entire perception of DSP comes from DSP and his actions, not from what somebody has said. Because if you haven't noticed, <clears throat> whenever somebody says, oh, yes, this has happened, I have to go see it. I don't believe it until I have. Don't like you, right? And I like that. I absolutely like that idea, right? And that was essentially what we were going for. It was supposed to be a fair level documentary that's going to cover the good and the bad. But There is no good. Basically, if you watched this, it wasn't a pity party I had to listen to it once. You guys are going to listen to it again, too. I can't stand his enunciations, but we're going to listen to it again. Documentary that's going to cover the good and the bad. But basically, if you watched this, it wasn't a pity party. Ugh. Oh, I can't do it again. I was going to do it a third time, but I can't. Oh, my Documentary, God. Documentary, it was going to be. You know, Rach, I did not leave you forever. I just had work more of an honest thing. There's going to be some comedy in it, and there was going to be other things in it. You know, it was meant to be an entertaining piece. You know, when you're making a documentary that's like 90 minutes long. Real quick, uh, I'm sorry, we'll go back to it. Genome Gaming, uh, this is the scene that made me want to feed his teeth, fill his teeth in Minecraft. Why, I, I've seen at least two, three, maybe even four or five people say, in Minecraft, when thinking about, like, you know, I don't know, violence and or, you know, unaliving people. Is there, I do not know this lore. What is the in Minecraft lore? Oh, it's okay. It's YouTube censorship. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I want to, so it's basically saying I want to insert, uh, insert violent act here in Minecraft. So now, you know, I don't mean in real life. Okay. Okay. Clever. Very clever. Why is he butchering the pronunciation more than my dad? <laughs> hey. Just so you know, if you guys really want to, like, just fucking troll me to the nth degree, um, find all the clips of him saying nice meal and splice them together. You want people to be enjoying every second of it, not on board in this part or whatever, right? So there was going to be all that stuff, right? <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. But, of course, you guys. Yes, you we're guys. We're very apprehensive about it, saying, you know, I don't know if this makes sense to do, because the only documentary that Mike Clum's done up to now is this Boogie documentary that doesn't sound like that, right? It's like, basically, he turned Boogie... Well, he didn't turn Boogie. Like, this was their idea, you know? Basically, uh, what he wanted to do was make Boogie look pathetic so that people would feel bad for him. And I said, that's not what I want at all. That's not what I want out of my documentary. I'm not sad. My life's not dark. I actually have a really good life, you know? And nothing says, I have a really good life by constantly telling people about how really good your life is. 
that that is not a red flag of um of depression and just fucking I want to and hero myself. That is not a red flag of that at all. Culture? Yeah, I culture. Yeah. In regards to my work, What's up, free my personal life, Welcome. just because a million people on the internet talk shit about me daily doesn't mean that I'm not actually in a positive place in my life. That's great. It's I'm not in a positive place in my life. That's great. So he's still doing tax paybacks. He declared for bankruptcy less than seven years ago, so that means it's definitely still on his credit. Uh, I don't know his car situation, but he doesn't drive anywhere. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, I do. He has the, what, the Corolla with the missing tire, right? Um... He relies entirely on tips and super chats and can't actually make ends meet while having a addiction level of like heroin to a mobile game. His wife is, sorry, I said that wrong. His mo wife is morbidly obese, uh, unhappy, and you can tell that they probably don't have relations of any kind. And if they do, it's going to sound like uh, somebody taking a fist and just shoving it in mayonnaise over and over again. I want to really give you that mental picture. And uh, he's in a happy place, guys. This is uh, this is peak. This, you may not like it, but this is peak performance when it comes to male production. You know, uh, just just the most productive man ever. Like Elon Musk should be taking most uh, should be taking notes from from Phil. No, oh, come on now, man. You know, you take the fist and it's that, you know, that, yeah, you know, just, yeah, peak pig performance. Yeah. <sighs> it's the opposite situation of Boogie, right? So, <clears throat> or better yet, we'll just give, we'll just give you a better example of the noise. We'll give Phil a banana and then put a, uh, put a microphone uh, next to his mouth. Basically, um, uh, the way I see it, it would have been very different. Days. Okay. Yep. That's essentially. What was discussed, that's what we're going to work on. A different kind of documentary. But now you're going to tell me the next documentary Mike Clum's going to do is this... <laughs> well, I'm going to make you unenjoy breakfast, JP. This guy, EDP. A guy who literally went from YouTube popularity to being exposed supposedly. And I got to say that because I, I don't know if there's concrete... <sighs> See, I was getting happy. And then Phil started talking again. Evidence or not, I can only tell you from what I've seen and heard hearsay on the internet. Isn't that what we do to you, though? We see and hear from it on the internet, we make a judgment call about you, and then we know you're a piece of shit? Supposedly, he was exposed for pedophilia, or at least accusations of pedophilia, was canceled, and literally no one wants anything to do with this guy anymore, right? So I guess the question is, what's the story, right? What? And maybe, maybe that is the story, is to find out the true story of what happened. But from what everyone says, it's like a slam dunk case. Like, it's not like you can dispute it and say, oh, it was fake. Yeah, and that is the antithesis of a frame job, you dumb fuck. Like, it happened. He was exposed for it, and that's why he got canceled, and that's why he's not prominent anymore. You know. So the thing is, I didn't even know anything about it um, until you guys told me a couple days ago. You're like, are you aware that Mike Clum's working with EDP? And I'm like, no. And then, of course, it starts showing up in my feed. Boogie has met with EDP and they're sitting down to eat a meal and the meal is like a bunch of Big Macs and and donut powdered donuts and I'm looking at it I'm like what the fuck all right like no really what the fuck two guys who are grossly obese sitting down to eat Big Macs and donuts together does that make any sense yes that makes that makes perfect sense they're they're fat that's okay. Let let the fat guys enjoy their Big Macs and donuts. You would you you have DoorDash and gin. What what are we talking about? Logically, morally, does that make any? Mo I gotta get context because I cut them off. Hold Macs on. and donuts together. Does that make any sense? Logically, morally, morally. When did Big Macs and donuts become a religion? Does that make any fucking sense to have two guys sitting down doing that? No. What, what? What fucking biblical decree? But okay. Well, gluttony aside, let's let's get that out of the way. The guys want to be, what? Dude, so 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 what? What does he think? He think EDP and Boogie sat down at a table 
And a fucking producer or a director or club himself came out with what? 10 Big Macs and, and fucking 12 donuts each and said, if you guys don't fucking eat this on camera and make it as disgusting as humanly possible, this fucking interview is over. Is that what happened? Is that, or was it just two dudes sitting down having some fucking, some fucking lunch? They're killing themselves, right? It's awful. Why would they? they... They're killing themselves. It's awful. Okay. Um, we're going to address the elephant in the room that is your wife, uh, Phil, because she's not healthy and we know you eat DoorDash. Um, what, it's morally reprehensible when EDP and Boogie does it, but when your my wife does it. It's good. We're going to go for another four minutes and then I have to go. Um, oh my God. Are you doing that? And then I guess they released a bunch of other like production stills of like EDP posing in front of a camera dramatically for what's going to be a documentary. And, you know, to be, to be honest here, I think that's about it for me. <laughs> well, you're going to tell me that there's going to be a guy who essentially has been exposed for pedophilia on the internet, canceled because of it. What's the story to tell there, exactly? Maybe, unless there is some... Okay, does anybody else remember, like, um, you know, every fucking documentary ever done by, like, 2020 or fucking uh, Dateline or by everybody else there, where they interview people in fucking prison about why did you do it, what is your motivation, how do you think... You know, because it's interesting, it's the human condition or it's, 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 it's humanity in there, you know, that they're trying to document, you know, documentary, who would have thought? And it's literally any true crime type of fuck. I, mm, it's a 15 years, this guy is a content creator and he can't create good content and he has a business degree and he doesn't know shit about business. Like. Uh, somebody somebody convince DSP that he's alive, right? And then by convincing DSP that he's alive, naturally, the other will, uh, will occur. Secret story that no one knows about, that actually this whole thing was a screw job, and none of it was true, right, at all. Then I guess that's the documentary, right? I guess uh, that's the story, what? right, at all. No one knows about, that actually this whole, exactly. maybe unless there is some secret story wow. that no one knows about, that actually this whole thing was a screw job and none of it was true, right? At all. Then I guess that's the documentary, right? I guess that's the story. But unless that's the story, I don't think there's anything to tell there. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people no. already on the internet are very upset with Mike Klum basically saying, why are you giving this guy a venue to be heard when basically we, we were done with him years ago? Like, we don't want him to have a venue. We don't want him to have a way to speak out about anything because he's, he's a scumbag, essentially, from what was found out about, right? Um, <clears throat> again, I don't know. But I'm, I'm just speaking from, you know, what I've heard on the internet. So here. Well, in the words of Adam Krigler, wow. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I had it and I lost it. Uh, oh, that's rich coming from you, Phil. Here's the thing. That, uh, that's what's funny. The boogie stuff, EDP stuff, that shit has nothing to do with me or my content or my life, right? But, at all. But he just spent 10 minutes and 46 seconds talking about it. Couldn't be further different from my situation. At all. You're right. They have money and they're successful. You know, I have a full-time, very, you know, productive business. Oh, he almost said profitable. That would have been, that would have been bad. That's successful. I have people who support me. I have people who love me in my personal life. My life is going good, except for the fact that there's thousands of people on the internet who shit on me on a daily basis for personal gain. Yeah, that'd be me. Uh, hi. How are you, Phil? That'd be me. I shit on you on a daily basis. It's not really for personal gain. Don't get me wrong. I, I got uh, I, I got a couple super chats here today, and I do appreciate that. And um, but that's not why I do it. I, I just do it because I enjoy fucking finding you a, as a reprehensible piece of shit. I don't know why I do. I guess I'm kind of a masochist in that regard. Outside of that, everything's going good, right? I don't oh, have a horrible story to tell about my sad, miserable life, about being accused of horrible things like pedophilia. None of it. No, just you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt to a mobile game. Anything like that. Okay, so I couldn't be further from guys like that. So then why would I be making a documentary with someone who makes those kind of documentaries? Because you're a lol cow. But as much as I want to continue on 
for the next 10 minutes on this. Actually, I really don't. Um, I, I really hope he doesn't ever talk about uh, EDP ever again, especially unless it's to condemn what EDP did. Um, I will happily take recommendations uh, on streaming. Um, I just did this one because I wanted to get back into the mix. Uh, it was a last-second decision. But uh, the reason for me saying all this, uh, try to steer clear, unless it is just like unavoidable, try to steer clear of CSAM stuff, stuff for me. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of it. I have a f history of things going wrong um, in my head with that stuff. So um, it's, I didn't mean to end on a sad note or a bad note or anything like that, but uh, I've got to... Uh, Oh, and now Darkseid shows up. Darkseid the the flow. Thanks, man. I'm really glad you're here. And yeah, I know Phil groomed Panda Lee, and there's a whole fucking sub rage uh, in me about that. Um. Anyway, message retracted. Unit rage. Why would you retract a message? Did you tell me you loved me, and then you thought different, or thought better of it, and you pulled it back? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch my fucking sh stream. Now what? Yeah. Now what? No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, no, so I have more videos coming out in 24 minutes and 30 seconds. You guys will have, oh, 23 minutes and 30 seconds. You guys will have my Elden Ring response or my response to, uh, Phil being a fucking dumbass. Um, I'm really sorry it's been so long since I've gotten videos and streams out. I'm going to try and do it much more, uh, consistently, but like I said, job is job and job is first, so... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down for now, guys. I really appreciate all of your support, all of you coming out, um, especially so early because we were out at uh, 7 a.m. this morning. Well, actually 7.03 because I was late, but till next time, y'all. Swallows the goal for a troll. Lift heavy. Eat clean. <laughs>